Chapter 2401 The Tao of Annihilation Translator, born to be the cheering in the plaza, which was even louder than the thunder, was like the cause of millions of crows. However, at this moment, those millions of crows were all killed. Yi Qian felt like he had been slapped. He turned to look at Long Chen and then at the terrifying pill lightning gathering in the sky. Impossible, Yi Qian screamed. This pill lightning wasn't his, but Long Chen's? He refused to believe it. Long Chen's display from the start had been mediocre. How could this pill lightning possibly be his? You don't believe it? Then I'll explain it. Your pill lightning was already smashed apart by my five-colored lightning. This tribulation now has nothing to do with you. Do you not see that the eye of the tribulation is pointed at me? Long Chen pointed at the center of the five vortexes of lightning. There was a shape similar to an eye there. The five types of energy were slowly pouring into that eye. A sharp lightning sword condensed there, pointing at Long Chen. How? How is that possible? The Divine Pill Division's people were filled with disbelief. Only the Pill Doyen had been staring at the tribulation lightning the entire time, seeming to be pondering something. If you don't get out of the way quickly, I won't care if the lightning splits you apart. I don't really care about your life or death, but hand over what you wagered first. If not, please write a will, said Long Chen. Suddenly, the five-colored lightning sword condensing in the eye of the tribulation shot toward Long Chen. The world rumbled as that sword screamed through the air. Although it was clearly pointed at Long Chen, everyone felt a sharp pain in their souls. Boom. The lightning sword pierced through Long Chen and his furnace. It exploded transforming into streams of lightning that spread in every direction. Just as the lightning sword exploded, Yi Qian finally flew back. However, he was one step too slow, and the lightning brushed against him. Blood-colored flames covered his body, but they were unable to fully protect him. He was sent flying, his face pale. Blood leaked out of his mouth. Yi Qian didn't care about this injury. He was pale because of his defeat. Pill lightning was the best way to appraise the quality of a pill. It was the fairest, most impartial method with no way to cheat. His pill lightning had been destroyed by Long Chen's pill lightning. His pill lightning was like trash that had been kicked aside by Long Chen's pill lightning. The division had caught Yi Qian and patted his shoulder, transmitting, Don't worry, Long Chen won't necessarily be able to pass this tribulation. If he fails, you'll be the winner. These words were clearly refusing to accept defeat. If Long Chen's pill really was destroyed by the pill tribulation, he would be unable to bring out a pill, so he would be defeated. But that would be a mocking victory for Yi Qian's pride. He was unable to accept such a thing. His expression was extremely ugly. The moon and star refining furnaces stars absorbed the power of the lightning, causing its light to grow stronger. Another bolt of lightning fell from the sky. This bolt was double the power of the first, causing the expressions of everyone present to change. This terrifying tribulation was filled with the will of annihilation. Even a third step nether passage expert would be killed. These disciples were unable to say a single word. Ignoring Long Chen's alchemy arts, the fact that he dared to allow this terrifying lightning to strike him directly was enough to shake them deeply. This terrifying tribulation, which would kill others in one move, was being ignored by Long Chen as if he didn't even feel it. The lightning continued to grow stronger. Every attack contained the power of annihilation that was part of the heavenly deos. In front of this power, the power of man felt incredibly minuscule. However, no matter how powerful the lightning grew, Long Chen continued not to do anything. It seemed that he was waiting for something. The moon and star refining furnace was growing brighter and brighter while the stars were revolving faster and faster. Finally, it felt like something had awoken within the pill furnace. A boundless aura slowly rose. This aura, what is going on? Asked one of the Divine Pill Division's elders. This completely toppled their understanding of alchemy. For the aura of the pill to only appear now, didn't that mean it had only condensed at this moment? But for pill lightning to come, it should have been formed from the start of the tribulation. Everyone looked at the pill doyen, with so many gazes on him, he finally said, this is another way to refine this pill, the most important part of the hundred Tao merger spirit pill is the merger aspect, the divine pill division has 17 ways to refine it, but there is one that has never managed to succeed, 
so it was discarded and forgotten. That is why you only know 16 ways. I coincidentally saw the 17th technique in the hidden scripture pavilion in an abandoned storehouse. At that time, I felt that the principles behind it were too ridiculous to be feasible. It seemed to be the crazy raving of some senior who had indulged in fantasy. It could not be used in reality. But today, my eyes have been opened to the world. What is this method? Asked the division head. The scripture stated that our current techniques for refining the hundred Dao merger spirit pill all depend on luck. To absorb the energy of the heavenly deos to condense the pill's spirituality does not depend on the alchemist, but on the mood of the heavens. We cannot absorb more energy than the heavens are willing to give us. As a result, while the final quality of the pill is affected by the skill of the alchemist, it also depends on the mood of the heavens. The top grade pill that Kyaner refined truly is not bad, but a large aspect of that was luck. Who can say when the heavens will be willing to give more energy or less? If they're lucky, the pill will be good. If they're unlucky, the pill's quality will be inferior. But what about the pill that Long Chen is refining? Long Chen's method is the one mentioned in that scripture. It is to rely on a person's power instead of luck. He is grasping every part of the heavenly deos himself and merging them into the pill said the pill doyen. That's impossible. No one can control the heavenly deos. Not even a god. Although there were those such as heavenly fate island capable of reading the ephemeral flow of fate, those sects could only vaguely grasp a few things from the future and calculate probabilities of certain events occurring. That was not the true heavenly deos. No one could truly read the heavenly deos. From ancient times to now, no one had ever managed to fully grasp the heavenly deos. This is a question that perhaps only Long Chen knows the answer to. All I know is that the hundred deos that he gathered into his pill were missing one. He merged 99 deos, leaving the final one to be the Tao of Annihilation within this pill lightning, said the pill Doyen. That explanation was something that would have been scoffed at if said by another. But he was the pill Doyen, the true number one of the divine pill division. How was it that the Tao of Annihilation could be merged into a medicinal pill? The Tao of Annihilation within Pill Lightning was used to destroy medicinal pills. Wasn't that contrary? Furthermore, if that was the case, who would possibly consume such a pill? Would it not be poison? There were plenty of ways to kill oneself, so there was no need to make it so complicated, right? Perhaps the Pill Doyen understood, but he didn't seem to be in the mood to explain it any further. He was focused on Long Chen, clearly not wanting to be disturbed. Everyone fell silent once more, simply watching as one giant lightning sword after another fell upon Long Chen. The aura of the pill inside the moon and star refining furnace continued to grow stronger. However, after a short while, the division head's expression changed. The runes on the bricks of the plaza were starting to dim. That meant that the lightning was exhausting their energy. No need to worry, said the pill doyen before the division head could give orders. The lid to the moon and star refining furnace slowly opened. A strange fluctuation came from within. The experts present sensed their own auras within that fluctuation. What is going on? Just at that moment, a fist-sized pill flew into the sky. The heavens rumbled. The five vortexes of lightning merged together into a supreme vortex. Following that, a tempest of lightning arrows rained down upon the pill. Chapter 2402 Earth Ranked Top Tier Tribulation Pill Translator Born to be what is that? How can it be so big? When they saw that pill, everyone was surprised. It was even a bit bigger than an adult's fist. Even giant pills were only the size of a baby's fist. So the size was definitely off. Furthermore, the pill was black and covered in thick veins. Its appearance was definitely not that of the hundred Dao merger spirit pill. Lightning arrows rained down from the tribulation at the pill. Long Chen actually made no move to stop them, simply allowing them to strike the pill. Shockingly, those veiny marks on the pill actually lit up and blocked the tribulation. The lightning shattered on contact with it. Is that really a medicinal pill? People were unable to believe their eyes. That black ball seemed to possess the aura of a medicinal pill but they didn't sense any of the fluctuations of a spirit pill. It was just a black ball hanging in the air motionlessly as it was struck by lightning. Long Chen stood beside it. He was also not reacting to the lightning arrows. 
Ever since his last tribulation when Sovereign Moli had stabbed him with his sword, he found that his internal organs that had been blasted apart had become stronger after recovering. Lightning was no longer able to invade them. Even Long Chen didn't know if this was a gift that Sovereign Moli had given him. This level of tribulation was nothing to Long Chen. As for Lai Long, it didn't even have a desire to consume this level of lightning. It had also gotten picky, and lightning that wasn't strong enough was no longer worth consuming. Seeing him standing so indifferently in the face of this lightning assault, one of the Divine Family's young women suddenly said, You know, Long Chen isn't actually that hateful. He's pretty handsome. As soon as she said this, the surrounding male disciples glared at her, causing her to shut her mouth. However, even though they didn't like Long Chen, they had to admit that the current Long Chen was definitely attractive. Everyone's gazes were attracted to him, but he seemed completely unaffected by them. People suddenly realized that his expression also hadn't changed when they had been taunting him. He didn't seem pleased or dazzled at all. It was a stark contrast to how Yi Qian had seemed after refining the Hundred Dao Merger Spirit Pill. One acted as if he was unmatched in the world, while another was silent. According to reason, this was the best moment for Long Chen to mock the people that had taunted him, but he didn't say anything. Those disciples of the Divine Pill Division felt like they had been silently slapped by his disdain. The tribulation continued to grow stronger until crunchy sounds began to come out of the pill. The pill's going to break. Cracks appeared on the pill. Everyone looked at Long Chen, only to see him watching indifferently. Finally, the lightning grew so strong that the pill couldn't endure it. Pieces of it began to fall off. What when the black pieces fell off one by one? People found that inside was a red pill that had been covered by a black shell. The black shell was the pill veil. If the pill veil is already so powerful, then how powerful is the actual pill? A pill veil was not rare. Many people would refine a pill veil to protect the pill. That was to maintain the medicinal energy within the pill and make sure that it didn't leak outside. A pill veil was normally very weak. But Long Chen's pill veil was strong enough to block this terrifying lightning. When the red pill appeared, the tribulation grew stronger once more. An incense sticks worth of time later. It also began to crack. What? This is also a pill veil. Shockingly, when the red exterior shattered, it revealed a violet pill inside. The red layer was also a pill veil. Two layers of pill veils? How did he do that? One of the elders of the divine pill division cried out in shock. It was hard enough to refine a single pill veil while refining the pill. So the concept of refining two was so difficult that it only existed in theory. No one would ever do such a thing in reality. By the point that a pill veil was refined, the pill was essentially finished. There was no need to take the risk of destroying the entire pill just to create a second layer. The lightning grew stronger again, growing berserk as if it had to destroy this pill. The violet pill suddenly exploded into powder, making everyone jump. One of the disciples suddenly laughed. Ha ha ha, it was a failure just as he laughed. He realized everyone was looking at him like they wanted to slap him. Even enemies wouldn't laugh at other alchemists for having a pill fail a tribulation. This kind of display was a complete disgrace. It isn't a failure. That violet layer was also a pill veil. Just what kind of pill did Long Chen refine a pill the size of a baby's fist appeared within the violet dust. It was as white as jade, glowing like the moon. The plaza was illuminated by its sacred light, making people feel like they were in a daydream. How beautiful some of the female disciples couldn't help sighing in wonder. The five-colored pill lightning in the sky suddenly condensed. It transformed into one giant five-colored sword the size of a mountain. It had condensed the full power of the tribulation. Then it whistled toward the pill with endless destructive power. Boom. A hand reached out and caught the lightning sword, shattering it. It transformed into lightning runes that filled the plaza. The pure white pill was immersed within the sea of lightning runes. Suddenly, runes lit up all over it. Flower petals began to bloom beneath it. The petals began to absorb the lightning, growing larger and larger. Every petal represented a Tao. Looking closely, there were 99 petals. They supported the pill like stars around the moon. Everyone was straining their necks just to get a better look. The lightning faded, leaving behind that sacred flower. At the center of that flower was a pure white pearl. 
This sight was deeply imprinted within the minds of everyone who saw it. It was a sight that they would remember for the rest of their lives. Yi Qian was pale. Seeing that flower, he was unable to say a single word. It felt like he had lost his soul. He had lost, and very miserably at that. He had never imagined that he would lose to someone from the same generation. Furthermore, the difference was so immense. Everyone was silent. The Divine Pill Division's disciples didn't dare to say a word. Now there was a trace of reverence in their eyes when they looked at Long Chen. His Pill Dao had reached a height that they couldn't even hope of reaching. They were the ones unqualified to carry his shoes. When they thought back to their mocking, they realized just how ignorant and childish they had been. They didn't dare to say a word because their faces hurt too much. Although many people were questioning whether this was really the Hundred Dao Merger Spirit Pill, they were afraid of further slapping their own faces. Long Chen waved his hand. The petals around the pill faded, and it floated over to Long Chen. When it landed in his hand, the radiance filling the world vanished. Looking closely, people were able to see ripples within the pill that seemed to be manifesting some kind of Tao charm. It was as if the pill contained its own world. Marvelous. I didn't expect to be able to personally witness the birth of an Earth-ranked top-grade tribulation pill. Finally, the pill doyen stood and clapped. Senior is praising me. This hundred Dao merger spirit pill cannot be said to have reached the Earth rank due to not having its spirit awaken yet, said Long Chen. Awakening the spirit should be nothing more than lifting a hand to you. You're too modest. The pill doyen smiled. Long Chen returned the smile. Not continuing on that topic, he hesitatingly asked. Senior, I'm embarrassed to say this too directly, but I wonder if you can take the initiative a bit. I'm rather busy, so I have to go soon. The pill doyen clapped his forehead. Ha ha ha, I've grown muddled with age. He turned to the frozen Yi Qian. If you are willing to bet, you must be willing to lose. Hand over what you state. Chapter 2403 Fortune or Calamity are decided by yourself translator. Born to be Yi Qian looked like he had lost his soul. The impact of this defeat was immense to him. Ever since he had learned alchemy. He had progressed smoothly, reaching the peak without ever suffering such a miserable defeat. He looked at the pill doyen in dismay and slowly took out the heavenly flame orb. At this moment, the division had said, Wait a minute, we have yet to test Long Chen's pill. How do we know whether it's really the hundred Dao merger spirit pill? Although his pill shut your mouth, there is no need to test the pill. It's Kyaner's lost the pill Doyen coldly glanced at the division head before turning back to Yi Qian. Kyaner, you should know what to do. Yi Qian nodded. With his head drooping, he walked over to Long Chen and handed the heavenly flame orb over. You win. I, Yi Qian, am not one to renege on my debts. Here, Long Chen smiled and received the heavenly flame orb. Sensing the fluctuations inside it, he knew that he hadn't worked for nothing. Many thanks. In front of countless envious gazes, Long Chen put the heavenly flame orb away. He tossed it inside the primal chaos space. Huo Long let out a heaven-shaking roar and devoured the orb. Long Chen had never sensed such excitement from it. The competition is over, so I won't disturb you any longer. Senior Pil Doyen, goodbye. Long Chen cupped his fists at the Pil Doyen. You can go, if you have time. Come visit the Divine Pil Division. The pill doyen nodded. He smiled, seemingly not at all displeased by Long Chen's win over Yi Qian. Long Chen nodded and began walking away slowly. Wang Qing held his hand and walked away with him. Seeing them walking away, the Divine Pill Division's experts' expressions were extremely unsightly. They felt hatred as though he wasn't giving them any face. But then they thought that if he had lost and had to bark like a dog, would they have given him any face? Elder Long and the deputy elder were watching from their chessboard. Elder Long curiously asked, Are they really going to let Long Chen go just like this? The deputy elder laughed. What else can they do? Although the heavenly flame orb is precious, the face of the divine pill division is more important. But Long Chen isn't giving the divine pill division any face. Just look at the division head's face. It's purple, said Elder Long. You're still lacking experience. The division head doesn't matter. Just watch the pill doyen, said the deputy elder. Seeing that Long Chen was about to vanish from sight, Feng Fei rose and prepared to leave as well. 
This competition had definitely been worth coming to. She had truly been amazed by Long Chen's skill in alchemy. Hmm, why has he stopped? Asked one of Feng Fei's attendants. Feng Fei looked back to see that Long Chen and Wang Qing had paused suddenly just before vanishing from sight. Long Chen sighed and turned back. Looking at the pill Doyen who was still smiling faintly, he said, Senior wins. This medicinal pill can be left for everyone as a lesson. Long Chen sent the hundred Dao Merger Spirit Pill flying toward Yi Qian. He then left with Wan Qing, going straight to the treasury. Once they were out of sight, Wan Qing couldn't help asking, Why would you give them such a precious pill? You clearly won. That hundred Dao Merger Spirit Pill was the strongest and most perfect pill that Wan Qing had ever seen. But Long Chen had given it away. She couldn't help feeling some pain over that loss. Long Chen sighed. The pill Doyen is just too smart. If someone had blocked our way or made things difficult while we were leaving, I could have kept the hundred Dao Merger Spirit Pill without a care. But the pill Doyen let us leave without any trouble at all. I was even walking slowly so that someone would stop us. But regretfully, no one did. Having taken a priceless treasure like the Heavenly Flame Orb, if I didn't leave behind something as well, it would be too much. Although I don't need to give face to anyone else within the Divine Pill Division, the Pill Doyen is someone I respect. Long Chen was actually disappointed, but there was no way around it. The Pill Doyen had been smart, and having obtained the Heavenly Flame Orb, an absolutely priceless treasure, he couldn't not give something back without offending the Pill Doyen. After all, the Pill Doyen was currently the only one that Long Chen could truly admire when it came to alchemy. He had given his life to alchemy. Such a person was a true alchemist. Although he did feel like the Pill Doyen had seen through this aspect and intentionally set it up this way, Long Chen had to accept it. In the end, he had been forced to leave behind his pill. As a result, this became a trade. Everyone within the Divine Pill Division, including Yi Qian, had ended up saving some face. Long Chen's original plan was to give the Divine Pill Division a vicious slap without giving any face due to how irritating Yi Qian was. But in the end, Yi Qian hadn't really touched Long Chen's bottom line, and he was a pampered child that Long Chen couldn't be bothered to quibble with. So he left the Hundred Dao Merger Spirit Pill with him, despite how incredibly pampered he was. Long Chen also saw that he was truly talented. The Divine Pill Division would be relying on him in the future. The Pill Doyen was also focused on his growth. Big Brother Long Chen, I never knew your Pill Dao is so amazing. I was actually worried for nothing. Wan Qing looked at Long Chen with a somewhat wronged expression. Foolish girl, didn't I tell you? Your Big Brother Long Chen is the strongest reincarnation of a warrior of the starry sky. I'll never lose said Long Chen. Let's go pick some medicinal ingredients. He, I want to experience what it's like being rich. Seeing that expression of his, Wan Qing laughed. The two of them stepped into a transportation formation and vanished. Yi Qian was stunned. He instinctively caught the hundred Dao Merger spirit pill. In that instant, a vast energy shook his soul, almost making him cry out. Just touching this pill was enough for him to sense a vast and majestic energy that he felt like it might explode. He, he actually, Yi Qian simply stared. Long Chen had given him this pill? His mind was a mess. This action also dumbfounded everyone else. Only the pill Doyen smiled as if he had expected it. Is this really the hundred Dao Merger spirit pill? It looks different from when I refined it. The energy inside it is crazy. If someone consumed it, wouldn't they explode could we have been tricked? This is basically a poison pill. The various elders began to examine and discuss this pill, causing the pill Doyen to say, Who told you that this pill was to be consumed? Those people immediately shut their mouths and looked at the pill Doyen. The other disciples also looked at him expectantly, hoping for an explanation. Even the non-alchemists were curious about this pill. Feng Fei was also seated once more looking for an explanation. Looking at everyone, the pill Doyen solemnly said, Fine, then I'll give a lecture on how Long Chen has refined this hundred Dao Merger spirit pill. Disciples of the Divine Pill Division, listen closely. The tuition fee for this lecture was truly high. It truly was a high price. To trade a priceless heavenly flame orb for a hundred Dao Merger spirit pill was a huge loss. Yi Qian blushed. 
but there was no hole for him to hide himself in. Kyanor, you don't need to blame yourself. This heavenly flame orb was given to you by the Divine Pill Division, so you simply lost your own item. In exchange, you've given a lesson to everyone here. Although it was expensive, as long as everyone is able to understand this lesson, it's not a loss. Perhaps we even profited. Fortune or calamity are decided by yourself. Whether something is a blessing or a disaster is decided by the final result. Not a temporary win or loss the pill Doyen's words made Yi Qian feel better about his loss. He was extremely grateful to him. The pill Doyen's gaze swept across all the disciples of the Divine Pill Division. He finally said, Perhaps you aren't aware of this, but this competition was actually set up by myself. What everyone present was startled, unable to believe their ears. Yi Qian looked at him in disbelief. Chapter 2404 Pill Sovereign's Divine Radiance Translator Born to be this competition had been the result of the Pill Doyen's direction, and yet no one had known beforehand. Even Yi Qian was confused. It had clearly been him that had challenged Long Chen. No one had told him to do so. The Pill Doyen smiled. No need to be surprised. I arranged for Kai and Er to go to the treasury but... The division had started. It's very simple. I know Kai and Er and Long Chen's characters. As long as they ran into each other, things would naturally develop to this result. Suddenly, the Pil Doyen's smile vanished, and it was replaced with frost. When I came out of seclusion this time, I saw that the Divine Pill Division was filled with arrogance and hot tempers. There was not a single person who had the character of a true alchemist. I said that to refine pills is to refine the heart. By opening the heart, it is possible to walk further on the pill Dao. Ask yourselves, are you really a true alchemist in your current state? Fawning and sweet-talking those amongst you, while acting high and mighty to others? Is that capable of improving yourselves? Is that enough to allow your alchemy to progress? If that was the case, I don't know which great god was able to find such an amazing approach. Who was it that created this miraculous cultivation style? Stand up and show yourself so our eyes can be opened to the world. Everyone was silent. They knew that the Pil Doyen was truly angry. However, his anger didn't explode thunderously like some people. His anger was contained, which was precisely why everyone was starting to feel uneasy. Usually, it was possible to judge how angry someone was by their tone, but they were unable to judge the Pil Doyen. They had no idea just how angry he was. Senior Pil Doyen, it was my fault. I know where I was wrong. The division had actually knelt toward the Pil Doyen in front of everyone. The Pil Doyen didn't look at him. Where were you wrong? It was my lack of discipline toward my students that resulted in the Divine Pil Division's atmosphere. I cannot escape my responsibility for this. It wasn't your lack of discipline to your students but your lack of discipline to yourself. How can you guide others when your own heart is astray? Before going into seclusion, you were not like this. I didn't expect a single talented disciple in the shape of Yi Qian to cause you to turn into this. Your entire focus is now on him. Are his accomplishments your accomplishments? Tell me, ever since accepting him as a disciple, have you ever seriously refined pills? Demanded the pill Doyen. I, the division head became covered in cold sweat. It seemed that he had never truly refined pills since accepting Yi Qian. To refine pills is to refine the heart. When you stop refining your heart, your heart became unrestrained like a wild beast. Think back to the old you and the current you. Just how great of a change has occurred during these years. The pill Doyen shook his head disappointedly. Disciple knows his wrong. Go into seclusion. Find your heart again. The position of division head will temporarily be granted to Jiang Fei, said the Pil Doyen. Everyone's heart shook. The Pil Doyen had actually removed the division head from his position. That was huge. Normally, removing someone from that post required a deliberation from the divine families. But the Pil Doyen had actually directly made the order. The disciples, as well as the senior elders, were apprehensive. They had never seen the Pil Doyen dole out such a heavy punishment. Furthermore, it was in front of the entire Divine Pil Division. He wasn't giving any face to the Division Head. The Division Head was pale but silently accepted it. He didn't dare to resist. 
the Pil Doyen was someone with top authority within the divine families. Even the leader of the divine families had to be respectful toward him. Senior Pil Doyen, it was my mistake. If there is to be a punishment, I should bear it along with my master. At this moment, Yi Qian suddenly knelt as well. The division head was moved and was about to tell him to back off when the Pil Doyen laughed. Is this a punishment? Yi Qian looked at the Pil Doyen in confusion. The Pil Doyen continued. Your master's heart has deviated from the Pil Dao. He needs to find his heart again to return to his old self. What is more important? The Pil Dao or some empty title? Many thanks for the reminder. Disciple understands, said the division head before Yi Qian could reply. The Pil Doyen nodded. He laughed. You can get up now. As long as you understand, this tuition fee wasn't bad for nothing. To strike for personal fame and profit is the foundation of human desires. Even gods and devils are like that, let alone mortals like us. Desires can be controlled, but they cannot be obliterated. The extent of how far you are willing to let your desires go depends on each individual. That is why you must find your old heart. You must compose yourselves. Do not let your desires control you. Only then can you focus on the pill down any thanks for your teachings. Disciple understands, said the division head. You shouldn't thank me. I wasn't the one teaching you, laughed the pill doyen. Are we supposed to thank Long Chen? Demanded the division head in a daze. We already paid him his fee. So why would we have to thank him? If you want to thank someone, thank your disciple. The heavenly flame orb was his. He paid the price all by himself. But everyone is profiting, said the pill doyen. Yi Qian blushed not knowing what to say. All right, everyone listen well. This pill is extraordinary. Even I cannot refine it, announced the pill doyen, putting away his smile and turning to the hundred down merger spirit pill. What? Even the pill doyen is unable to refine it. Everyone was shocked. The pill doyen was someone above the nether passage realm, the strongest alchemist within the divine families. They could not believe that even he was unable to refine it. Can't you refine heaven ranked top grade pills? The earth tier should be nothing to you, exclaimed the division head. Of everyone present, only he knew the pill doyen's power. High grade pills were ranked according to how many rings they had, while top grade pills were split into heaven, earth, and mortal ranks. Essentially all pills floating throughout the marketplace were mortal rank. The earth ranks pills were essentially impossible to buy, let alone heaven rank. Even amongst the divine pill division, only a few disciples had managed to see an earth-ranked pill. Meanwhile, only a portion of the elders were qualified to study them. I can refine a heaven-ranked top-grade pill, but I am unable to refine this hundred Dao merger spirit pill. That is because Long Chen's Dao is different from mine and different from everyone's here as well. He allowed his imagination to run rampant and created an entirely new way to refine this pill. Kyanur's defeat cannot be blamed on him. Kyanur, don't hate me either. You had gone astray and needed someone to knock you back, said the Pil Doyen. Disciple understands, said Yi Qian immediately. His resentment toward Long Chen had faded. If it was someone that even the Pil Doyen admired, then competing with him was purely courting death. He couldn't blame someone else. The Pil Doyen nodded. Let us discuss the hundred Dao merger spirit pill. When refining it, you gather the energy of the heavenly deos, that is up to the heavens. When Long Chen refined this pill, what he took was everyone's Tao. Do you remember the wave of light that swept past you? This reminder made everyone think of the light that had suddenly rippled out of Long Chen's furnace. At that moment, it had felt like their souls were being peered into. Could it be? Wondered Yi Qian. Yes, everyone's Tao is different. Darkness, greed, laziness and other emotions are all a kind of Tao. Long Chen gathered your negative emotions to combine into the 99 Daos and in the end added the heavenly tribulations Tao of annihilation to create the 100 Daos, explained the Pil Doyen. But that doesn't make sense either. How can the Tao of annihilation enter a pill? Furthermore, if Long Chen gathered our negative emotions, then why are there no negative emotions within the pill? Asked one person. The Pil Doyen answered. That was where Long Chen was smart. He used the Tao of Annihilation to suppress those negative emotions, balancing it with them to form a very contradictory merger. 
This is part of the heavenly Deus and also part of the human Tao. The human Tao will never be perfect, and because it is not perfect, there is room for change. However, even I cannot tell what the core of this hundred Tao merger spirit pill is. Hence, I also must keep my heart humble when it comes to the pill Tao. There are always more things to learn. Everyone nodded along with the pill Doyen. They hadn't expected an alchemist from the martial heaven continent to have such abilities. Their eyes had truly been opened. This pill is not to be consumed. It is used to comprehend the heavenly deos. To Kyanur, its value is even greater than the heavenly flame orb, said the pill Doyen. To Yi Qian, he said, your talent is the best of everyone I've seen, but your path has been too smooth. There has always been someone sweeping obstacles out of your way, resulting in you lacking perceptiveness. Suffering this blow now is recoverable, but if you had continued growing more arrogant, this blow might have been fatal to you. That's why you shouldn't hate Long Chen. Without him, this life of yours would essentially have been crippled. To pay a tuition fee and learn a lesson is worth it. You also don't need to feel inferior or bad. Long Chen has definitely paid far greater tuition fees in blood. That is why he is stronger than you. Disciple understands. I don't hate him. I'm very grateful to him. Yi Qian nodded. Good. Then everyone can leave now. If you've gained some insight, then go into seclusion to think it over. If you didn't gain anything, then do whatever work you have to do. Once everyone was gone, the pill Doyen looked in the direction where Long Chen had left. He muttered to himself. I almost misjudged. That wasn't the nine cycle pill light. It was the pill sovereign's divine radiance. But the martial heaven continent has never produced a sovereign of the pill Tao. Chapter 2405 Sovereign Sprout Translator Born to be I didn't think that Long Chen's alchemy skill was so terrifying. Said Elder Long with shock. They had done a thorough investigation of Long Chen and were aware that he knew how to refine pills but they had had no idea that his skill in alchemy was so high. Long Chen was a martial artist. Dual martial and pill cultivation was essentially a dead path. Alchemists would always focus on alchemy, and all their techniques would be focused on their pill flame. They wouldn't learn other techniques. However, Long Chen also had Thunder Force, as well as the nine forms of split the heavens and a multitude of other skills. According to reason, even if such a person had once been a grand master of alchemy, they would still be crippled from learning those abilities. Long Chen has many unknown secrets. He has never had a mountain to rely on but was still able to reach this level. He must have something he depends on. Countless people have grown greedy for his secrets, which resulted in his path being so thorny. He must possess a tough life force. If we could use him well, he would be of great assistance to our long family. Aocean and the others are about to return. We can introduce them properly then. With Long Chen assisting Aocean, our Long family might be able to far surpass the others. But Long Chen isn't so easy to control, so we'll have to think of a way to entice him. We also have to be careful of the Yi family. They've been keeping a close eye on Long Chen. We cannot allow them to kill him. The Yi family has already seen through our goal. So this is the most dangerous moment for Long Chen. I'll leave this matter to you, said the deputy elder. You don't need to worry about that. I've prepared everything. There's just one thing. Long Chen and the original devil race, probed Elder Long. The deputy elder thought about it and said, that truly is a problem. The original devil race is the enemy of the entire world. If caught, the Yi family will have an above board reason to target Long Chen, while we'll be helpless. However, it's not as important as the rest. Just keep an eye on the Yi family's movements. Long Chen won't expose himself so easily. Moreover, the Starfield Divine World will soon open. The Yi family's attention should be focused there. We cannot overlook this matter, but we also cannot ignore it. Then I understand. I'll arrange things now. I'll make things easy for Long Chen to express our sincerity. Elder Long nodded and left. Within two hours. Long Chen's 20 million points in winnings and his original 300,000 points were used up. He now had 370 new 12th tier medicinal ingredients, as well as stocks of over 20 different kinds of divine material. Despite the shocking amount of wealth which was 20 million points, he found that these points were just a drop in the ocean of this treasury. 
Long Chen wished he could plunder this entire treasury. Originally, he had been planning on buying even more 12th tier ingredients, but Wang Qing had stealthily stopped him and told him that she had some of the ingredients. Pill Valley was focused on raising her. Ever since the Pill Fairy had become the Divine Daughter, her interest in alchemy had faded, resulting in Wang Qing becoming the future leader of Pill Valley. She had started refining 12th tier pills now, and having come to the Divine Families for an exchange of knowledge, she naturally couldn't appear too poor. She had brought quite a few precious ingredients with her. Wang Qing gave one of every ingredient she had to Long Chen. After Long Chen planted them within the primal chaos space, he would have an endless supply of them. Long Chen calculated it, and adding on the ones that he had found himself, as well as the ones that Zheng Wenlong had helped him gather, he had over 1312th tier medicinal ingredients. He was able to refine over 200 different pills with these ingredients. He had truly managed to profit this time. With 12th tier pills, he could quickly raise his realm. Having encountered Feng Fei here in the Divine Families made him feel immense pressure. The Demon King that she had killed had given him a sensation of mortal danger even though it had just been a corpse. For Feng Fei to be able to kill it and keep its corpse perfectly intact meant that her power was unfathomable. Having spent the money, Long Chen felt that it was time to leave. He said goodbye to Elder Long as well as Shen Chen Feng and the others. Long Chen, why don't you come join the Divine Families? I'll give you my commander spot. You can let us into being the first Legion, said Shen Chen Feng sincerely. Long Chen laughed. Even without me, you can become the first Legion. You just need time. Work hard. Long Chen left with Wang Qing, and they sat on a transportation formation to the Martial Heaven continent. However, when they returned, Long Chen was shocked. He thought that they had been brought to the wrong place. The clear sky had vanished and a haze covered the sky, filling the world with a deathly air. While you were in the Divine Families, the Martial Heaven continent underwent this transformation. The aura of other worlds has started to creep in, causing spatial disturbances. The seals on the other worlds are weakening, and their laws are mixing into the continent. Darkness will soon envelop the world. This is also why it's called the Dark Era, said Wan Qing with a sigh. This upcoming tribulation might not be one that they could survive. In the past, a sovereign had always been there to get the martial heaven continent through the dark era. But even then, less than a tenth of the experts during those times managed to survive. Now, there was no sovereign at all. Don't worry, we just need to be able to face them ourselves, said Long Chen. Wan Qing shook her head and suddenly her eyes reddened. I'm not afraid of anything else. I just don't want to see you and big sister King Suen fight to the death. She's been in seclusion in the Divine Palace the entire time. No one has seen her. I feel like she's getting farther and farther from me. Long Chen grew gloomy. There was nothing anyone could do about this. The two of them eventually parted. Instead of returning to the Martial Heaven Alliance, Long Chen went to the Wine God Palace. Upon meeting Long Xiaoyu again, he saw that she had grown again. She grew delighted upon seeing him. His father and mother were still the same. His mother was tending her garden, while Long Xiangxiao was immersed in winemaking. The Wine God Palace was isolated from the rest of the world, so they didn't sense the danger to the Martial Heaven continent. It was only here that Long Chen managed to feel at peace. He accompanied his family in a quiet, happy dinner before going to see the high priest. He went by to Kian Chang's little house but he wasn't home. When Long Chen asked around, he learned that Tu Kian Chang was still roaming the outside world. It had been a long time since he had returned. After that, Long Chen arrived at the high priest's residence. The high priest immediately laughed and indicated for him to sit, bringing out his wine. When Long Chen reached out to pour the wine, the high priest waved his hand, doing it himself. What kind of impression did the divine families give you? Asked the high priest. To tell the truth, my impression of them isn't very good. Long Chen took a light sip of the wine and instantly felt refreshed. This wine seemed to be able to make him forget all his vexations. Oh? Why? I can't say. The divine families just give me a very strange feeling. Other than the pill doyen, I was unable to see through the others. The only one I have a good impression of is the pill doyen. 
said Long Chen. Long Chen didn't hold anything back when it came to the high priest. He had great trust in this senior. The Divine Pill Division's Pill Doyen should be Yun Chang, right? He's definitely worthy of admiration the high priest nodded. Long Chen was startled. You know the Pill Doyen I don't remember the exact time because it was so long ago. But he came to the Wine God Palace and used the Pill Dao to discuss the Wine Dao. He gave me a marvelous impression. He allowed me to see many things that I had never seen before. That is why I chose to allow the collaboration with Pill Valley for the medicinal wines. But you also know that not all people are able to make alchemy their conviction. Long Chen was surprised to learn that there was actually such a history behind the Wine God Palace and Pill Valley's collaboration. You should be careful of the Divine Families. They are a den of tigers. The Divine Families have their own secrets. And as an outsider, they will definitely not allow you to be a part of them. If you get too close to them, you'll get burned, warned the high priest. Long Chen nodded. The divine families are like a riddle, but I have no choice but to work with them. However, I'm not being careless with them. Long Chen had no choice but to work with the Long family, other than for the benefits. He had a feeling that his origins were very likely related to the Long family. However, such a thing could not be directly investigated. The divine families were on guard against him and even the deputy elder had been probing him. If he asked about it directly, it would immediately raise the Long family's alarm. Right now, he could only take things one step at a time. The only one that Long Chen could possibly trust was the Pil Doyen. He gave Long Chen a feeling of absolute trust. It was a strange feeling. Moreover, Long Chen was unable to fully trust Shen Chen Feng, Elder Long, or the deputy elder. Have you witnessed any of the geniuses of the divine families who are sovereign sprouts? Asked the high priest. Sovereign sprouts? Asked Long Chen. Could it be? Chapter 2406 The high priest's support translator. Born to be after hearing of the existence of sovereign sprouts. The first thing that Long Chen thought of was Feng Fei. Could it be that the divine families were trying to raise a sovereign? By a sovereign sprout? You mean? Probed Long Chen. The high priest smiled faintly. It's just as you imagine. The divine families have always wanted to raise a sovereign. So they have been grooming sovereign sprouts. But although they were able to raise supreme geniuses, they never could raise a sovereign. However, they have yet to give up. With all the karmic luck of the world gathering within the geniuses of this era, they must have prepared themselves. I would estimate that the four families are not unified. So they all have their own thoughts. As they fight amongst themselves, their true goal. Well, to get back on topic, I was just wondering if you've seen any sovereign sprouts. Long Chen couldn't be sure, so he gave a simple explanation of Feng Fei. The high priest nodded. To be able to kill a matured blood wing demon king and keep its corpse intact is truly the power of a sovereign sprout. A matured blood wing demon king has power on the same level as the divine family's heaven elders. Based on that, your current chances of beating this Feng Fei in battle are very low. Long Chen's heart pounded. For the high priest to say this, it meant that a sovereign sprout had even more power than Long Chen had thought. Although you are already very powerful, compared to a sovereign sprout, you are lacking their foundation. Do you know what the three requirements are for becoming a sovereign? Asked the high priest. You've mentioned it to me. It's the spirit blood, the spirit root, and the spirit bone said Long Chen. You know of the spirit blood and the spirit root, but the spirit bone is something you have yet to come into contact with. There are some things I shouldn't be telling you for fear of damaging your heart, but in the current state of the world, we must discuss this problem. High priest, you were able to tell that my spirit root, spirit blood, and spirit bone were taken. Can others see that? The high priest's words had made Long Chen think of something. Last time, the high priest had said that without spirit blood, a spirit root, or a spirit bone, he was unable to become a sovereign. What if the Long family had noticed this as well? That was not good for him. As if seeing through his worries, the high priest comforted him. I was able to tell because I sensed it the first time I saw you. As your cultivation base grew, I was no longer able to tell. You don't need to worry about this. Others are unable to sense this secret any longer. Furthermore, you've fully merged with the Azure Dragon Essence Blood. 
your original essence blood had been completely masked by it. No one will be able to pursue the original source of your spirit blood. This explanation put Long Chen at ease. If he truly was someone from the divine families, then the person who had taken his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone was also definitely someone from the divine families or someone related to them. It would be far too easy for them to get suspicious of him if they knew that he was lacking his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. Although his spirit root and such had been previously tested in the Zhuangshan Dao sect, that had just been an ordinary examination. Any information about it had vanished thanks to Li Xiang Xuan who had hidden it for him. When Long Chen had found that out, he knew that Li Xiang Xuan knew something. But this also wasn't entirely out of the ordinary for a sect. Some large sects would cover up the history of their talented disciples to keep things confidential. Some disciples themselves were unable to learn their own origins. Li Xiang Xuan had truly arranged everything for Long Chen in that regard, so he had nothing to worry about there. Long Chen, the heir of top geniuses fighting for the position of sovereign is coming. If you continue to stay this conservative, what comes next will be very miserable for you. Sovereign Moli saved you once, but the multiplication of that karma will still come eventually. A young person should have a youngster's vitality. Release yourself. The wine god palace will be your strongest shield, said the high priest profoundly. High priest, are you saying? Long Chen was startled. The wine god palace had always remained aloof from the rest of the world. How could he say such a thing? The high priest smiled. The workings of fate cannot be divulged. All you need to do now is that when you are at an impasse, the wine god palace will be behind you. Although the divine families are strong, the wine god palace has its own power. We don't like fighting, but that doesn't mean we don't have the power to fight. This is all the wine god's will. Furthermore, if you continue acting so cautiously, there won't be a way out in the future. Give yourself free reign. When the heavens collapse, the wine god palace will hold them up for you. I have found that you no longer dare to take risks. Have you forgotten that while you accumulate power, others are also accumulating power rapidly? You are fighting alone while others have millions of people supporting them. The more cautious you are and the fewer risks you dare to take, the faster your enemies will grow past you. Long Chen was startled and delighted to hear that the wine god palace would support him fully. Furthermore, it was even the wine god's will. Many thanks. Your support truly means a great deal to me. It's not just me supporting you. You don't like to rely on others. So you are unaware of just how many people are standing behind you. The wine god palace is simply being the first to state it outright so that you stop wasting your precious time, said the high priest. Long Chen had never been able to sense the full depth of the high priest. He was like an ocean. There was no way to tell how deep it went below the calm surface. Although Long Chen could not sense his cultivation base, Long Chen's intuition told him that the high priest was definitely another expert above the nether passage realm. The high priest was low-key. So for him to say such big words meant that he definitely had the confidence to do so. That made Long Chen feel confident. Well, if I have your support, then there's nothing to fear. I don't need to hide things. Long Chen clenched his fists. His alchemy. Xia Chen's formations. Guo Ran's forging. Long Chen was forced to gather the materials for these things secretly. In truth, it was possible to directly buy the materials or even finished and half-finished products. Guo Ran in particular was forced to waste a great deal of time and manpower refining materials that could be bought in an already refined state. That was wasting time. As for his own alchemy, it was something he had never been able to reveal. After exposing it in the divine families, he even felt some regret. Thinking of how countless gazes would be on him to spy on his alchemy was extremely irritating. But with the wine god palace's support, Long Chen felt strengthened. He bade farewell to the high priest and had another meal with his family before leaving. Upon leaving the Grand Shia, he suddenly felt a sense of alarm. Someone's watching me. This was a feeling that came from the Nine Star Hegemon body art. He was almost unable to sense anything at all due to how well hidden it was. Furthermore, whoever it was, they were intentionally not targeting him to avoid drawing his attention. It's not the aura of the blood kill hall. 
Long Chen instantly removed the blood kill hall from the possibilities. The feeling was completely different. Someone else would definitely not be able to sense whoever it was. So it had to be a supreme expert. Long Chen could only sense some vague hostility thanks to the nine-star hegemon body art. It was rare for him to be unable to even pinpoint where the hostility was coming from. Long Chen smiled coldly. Since leaving the divine families, only Wang Qing had known where he was going. Furthermore, Long Chen had been disguised before going to the Wine God Palace. That wasn't to trick anyone, but simply to avoid the Imperial family and causing a fuss. Based on that, the only ones capable of following him here were the Divine Families. Amongst the Divine Families, the ones who wanted him dead the most was the Yi family. Acting like he didn't sense anything, Long Chen sped off, silently crushing a ball of medicine. Colorless, odorless powder floated through the air. When he reached a large, barren mountain range, Long Chen suddenly came to a stop. Evil Moon appeared in his hand, and he slashed it down behind him. Boom. The void exploded. From within countless fragments of spastime, a man in a silver mask appeared. It was an old man with white hair who was skinny and tall. Beneath the silver mask lay a pair of shocked eyes. He didn't know how Long Chen had sensed him. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder and coldly said, The Yi family actually sent an old dog to chase me? What? You want to bite me? Long Chen's spiritual yuan began to circulate within him at full power. His 108,000 astral spaces activated, filling him with energy. This old fellow was very powerful. Obediently let yourself be captured and I won't kill you. Otherwise, I'll have to get forceful. You can't blame me if you die then. The masked elder's voice was hoarse and painful to listen to but contained an unquestionable tone. Chapter 2407 Samsara Void Extinguisher Translator Born to be a fourth-step nether passage expert whose aura is close to the heaven elders, but who is skilled in hiding. It seems that the Yi family isn't looking down on me. They actually sent such an expert after me. That makes me feel good. Long Chen looked at the silver-masked elder with a smile. With death at hand, you're still so arrogant. It seems you won't be coming peacefully. I can only take you by force. Snorted the masked elder. He suddenly raised a hand. That one hand covered the heavens and caused the void to collapse. It covered Long Chen from every direction. That hand contained life and death energy but was still silent. All the power was condensed within it without any leaking at all. When have I never not been arrogant sneered Long Chen. His aura suddenly changed. A dragon row rang out and white scales covered his body. His divine ring appeared along with six stars in his eyes. Split the heavens eight. Evil moon slashed down. Even in the face of a fourth-step nether passage expert, Long Chen didn't dodge. He fought him directly. Boom. When his attack struck the hand, Long Chen's body trembled. His attack crumbled, while the hand only paused slightly before continuing toward him. An amateur who just entered Nether Passage dares to compete in terms of power with me? Do you think you're someone like Senior Feng Fei? Be suppressed. The masked man sneered. The hand continued to press down upon Long Chen. The energy that Long Chen had managed to cancel out with his own attack rapidly restored. So this is the cycle of life and death. Samsara. It is unending Long Chen had a spark of insight from witnessing this hand. He managed to progress the slightest bit into the mysteries of the Samsara realm. It was a kind of cyclic power, as well as a kind of law. Unless the cycle could be severed with absolute power, it could not be broken. It would simply restore itself naturally. No wonder it was said that a third-step nether passage expert was like an ant in front of a fourth-step nether passage expert. Although it was just one step, the power difference was like heaven and earth. Long Chen attacked again with his saber, with even greater force. As a result, he was blown back and coughed up a mouthful of blood. A mantis trying to stop a chariot. Be suppressed obediently and you might live. Sneered the masked elder Novaloon.com his hand once more recovered from any damage that Long Chen had caused it and continued onward. What chariot are you? Although I'm not Feng Fei. Killing you is easy. Long Chen smiled and attacked again. This time. It wasn't split the heavens but an ordinary slash. Kill me? Ha ha ha. The elder laughed like he had heard the world's funniest joke. However, 
that laughter was cut off when Evil Moon met his hand. Both attacks exploded. As the elder was stunned, unable to believe what he was seeing, lightning flickered. Long Chen appeared in front of him like a specter. His saber came slashing down, causing the elder to hastily retreat. Evil Moon left a long cut in his throat. Your physical body is this weak? Nice. Then I really am confident in killing you. Tell me, how do you want to die? Asked Long Chen. The elder was shocked. If he had reacted the slightest bit slower, his head would have been cut off. How do you have such powerful life energy? I'm not your dad. So why do I have to tell you? Has your head grown muddled with age? Ah, the Samsara realm isn't as great as I thought, sneered Long Chen. Although Long Chen had been injured by the last two attacks, he had managed to grasp some of the mysteries of the Samsara realm. It was a kind of law of half-life energy and half-death energy. The two energies were in a cycle, capable of restoring each other. Unless his power could surpass the elder's power, he wouldn't be able to do anything to it. With just power, Long Chen could not break that cycle. So, on his third attack, he didn't use power. He used his life energy. An expert who had just entered the Netherpazij realm was capable of using life and death energy. But that life and death energy was separate, and not in a cycle like a Samsara expert. As the first step in the Nether Passage realm, despite possessing both life energy and death energy, using either one was very difficult. That was why the first step was just the foundation. The second step was using life energy, while the third step was using death energy. When life and death could be controlled, it was possible to enter the Samsara realm. The fourth step of Nether Passage. Going from the first step to the second step was comparatively easy. There wasn't much danger, but going to the third step was difficult. It required one's death energy to suppress one's life energy. When the death energy filled the body, leaving only the slightest trace of life energy, it would be the peak of the death realm. After that, by using the slightest trace of life energy, the death energy would be driven away until they were balanced. However, when the death energy was strong, it was all too easy for the life energy to be extinguished. When the life energy was too weak, it would be unable to return and balance the death energy. In the end, the death energy would overwhelm it and end the cultivator's life. The four grand elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance were in that kind of state. Their life energy was too weak. Although Long Chen had found medicine that could strengthen their life energy and keep them alive, they had been in the third step of Nether Passage for too long. Their death energy had eroded their bodies and taken over. Hence, there was no longer any way for them to reach the fourth step. What Long Chen had found essentially was that life and death energy needed a certain balance in order to sustain itself. So on his third attack, he had forcibly inserted his own life energy into the saber. According to reason, even a third step nether passage expert would not be able to break the equilibrium of a fourth step nether passage expert's life and death energy. However, Long Chen's life energy came from the primal chaos space. Although he was only able to utilize a trace of its power, it was enough to throw his opponent's attack into disorder, causing it to explode. The masked elder snorted. It was definitely a coincidence a black and white sword appeared in the air behind him and shot toward Long Chen. Long Chen slashed his saber once more. His life energy surged, and the white color instantly took over the black color of the sword, causing it to lose its balance and explode. I understand now. You're just a rookie who only just entered the fourth step. No wonder your balance is so stiff. Well, since you're so weak, I'll just slaughter you here. Long Chen had figured out this person's skill level, even amongst fourth step nether passage experts. There were immense differences. This person still had quite a distance from being on the same level as Elder Long and the other Heaven Elders. Like a bolt of lightning, Long Chen charged toward the Masked Elder. HMPH. Even so, killing you is as easy as turning a hand. The Masked Elder seemed enraged by this ridicule. A sword appeared in his hand, and an icy air erupted. This was actually an ice sword. Aren't you afraid of swallowing your tongue with such big words? This bragging really has no skill, taunted Long Chen. Evil Moon's two dragon marks lit up. Ice crystals exploded into the air when Evil Moon met the ice sword. It was as if the entire world had been frozen. My ice energy pow. 
the elder was most likely about to introduce just how amazing his ice energy was when he was slapped away by Long Chen. Shut up. No one has time to listen to you natter. Originally, Long Chen had been thinking of shattering the mask when he struck his face, but he found that the mask was part of his body. He couldn't remove it. Long Chen sneered. This ice energy is a huge joke in front of me. When it came to ice energy, he only admired Yi's Hikyu. After being with her for so long, he had managed to build up his own resistance toward ice energy. As his future wife, he had to be prepared for her ice spirit body. Without any natural immunity, there would be no way to do any pleasurable stuff. Even holding hands could get him frozen. This elder's ice energy might be able to freeze others, but it was nothing more than a slight chill to Long Chen. Since you want to die so badly, fine. The masked elder roared and the void behind him rumbled. A black and white core appeared, and a star blazed into existence around it. In that moment, the masked elder's power erupted. Samsara Void Extinguisher Chapter 2408 Unexpected Failure Translator Born to be that star seemed to ignite all the energy within the masked elder. Boundless Samsara energy world within it, causing Long Chen's heart to shake. The masked elder slashed through the ice. His ice energy froze space and time. This was the power of a Tao. Long Chen was locked down by this sword. With a deep breath, he poured his power into Evil Moon. As a result, a dragon roar resounded throughout heaven and earth, and an evil air exploded out of Evil Moon. It was like a fiend had broken through the gates of hell to devour the mortal world. Boom. As if coming alive, Evil Moon roared as it slashed into the sword. A huge explosion sent Long Chen and the masked elder flying. Long Chen felt like his bones were about to crumble, and he couldn't help being shocked. What was that star for it to be so powerful? In that situation, he had been forced to use Evil Moon's power, and Evil Moon hadn't disappointed him. It had managed to block that terrifying attack. However, his own physical body was unable to endure it. While Long Chen was shocked, the masked elder was even more shocked. That star behind him was a manifestation of his astral space. His life and death energy had gathered into his astral space at the core. That gave him greater control over his life and death energy. And it would prevent Long Chen from using his life energy to break the masked elder's abilities. If it was an expert on Elder Long's level, then there would be no need to summon this star outside their body. Someone on that level would be able to balance out their life energy before their technique collapsed. However, this masked elder had yet to reach that level. He had clearly just reached the fourth step. With his astral space manifestation, the masked elder was no longer afraid of Long Chen disturbing his techniques with life energy. However, he definitely hadn't thought that Long Chen would be able to face his attack with pure power. It seems that this blade of yours is a treasure. A child isn't suited for such a thing. I'll be taking it. The masked elder grew greedy upon realizing that the source of Long Chen's power was Evil Moon. Fuck. Does he dare to touch me? Long Chen. Kill him. Rage Devil Moon. Let's test his power first. Said Long Chen. Test what? This kind of novice is worth testing? In my peak. I could crush a mass of these fellows with a fart. Just kill him. Evil Moon continued to rage. Not waiting for Long Chen's response. Dark energy swirled out of Evil Moon and entered Long Chen's body. His white scales became half black. Following that. 72 of Long Chen's acupuncture points began to quiver. A giant saber image tore into the sky, sucking away the energy of heaven and earth. Split the heavens eight. Long Chen let out a cry. Although this was also the eighth form of split the heavens, when using Evil Moon's full power to unleash it, this blow cut through the restrictions of space and time. It was like a god's blade slashing down upon the masked elder. The masked elder was horrified. In just an instant, Long Chen had transformed into another person. Even his aura had changed, becoming dark and sinister like a devil king. The masked elder hastily formed hand seals, causing the star behind him to quiver. Life and death energy burst forth like a volcano, merging into his sword. After that, a streak of light erupted out of it. Boom. The sword and saber clashed. Long Chen was unable to keep a grip on Evil Moon, and it went flying out of his hands. Moreover, both his hands were badly mangled. As for the masked elder, he shot back like a shooting star. 
blasting through three big mountains before coming to a stop. He coughed up blood, which came out of the sides of his mask noveloon.com His eye sword was destroyed, leaving behind only a hilt. Not only that, but the destructive power within Long Chen's sword was wrecking his body. He was shocked to find that even his life energy was unable to heal his injuries. His heavenly Tao energy was isolated from him. Just at that moment, a burst of blinding light appeared. A lightning spear pierced toward his head. The masked elder was appalled and suddenly took out a jade tablet. That piece of jade was almost the exact same shape as the one that Long Chen had, but it was a different color, blue. He crushed the jade, and a curtain of light appeared in front of him. Furthermore, a withered hand came reaching out of the light to strike Long Chen's lightning spear. The lightning spear instantly crumbled. Long Chen was shocked, and when he retreated, he found that everything around the light barrier was affected by a strange law. His movements were slowed down. The hand reached toward Long Chen's throat. Life and death energy surged within the hand. Energy that was far stronger than the masked elders. This is someone on the level of a heaven elder. Long Chen's heart pounded. The Yi family had even sent such a backup just to kill him. Just at that moment, Evil Moon came flying back of its own accord, striking the hand. The hand went from a claw to a fist and instantly became pitch black. It blocked Evil Moon just like that, and a metallic ringing filled the air. Gloves. Long Chen instantly realized that this was a set of divine items. Borrowing Evil Moon's power, he retreated from the light. Within this light, he was unable to use his full power. The owner of the hand came out. He wore black robes and also had a silver mask. His hair was black, and although it was not possible to see his face, based on the fluctuations of his blood chi, there was no sign of old age. His hands pulled on the void, and space twisted. He suddenly appeared right in front of Long Chen, a claw reaching for his throat. This fellow's much stronger. This domain only allows life and death energy to be used. We're at too much of a disadvantage, said Evil Moon. Long Chen and Evil Moon felt like they were moving in water. The more power they tried to use, the more that they were impacted. After seven moves, that fellow's claw reached Long Chen's shoulder. Five bloody holes appeared in Long Chen's shoulder. That person pulled, and Long Chen let out a pained grunt as a piece of his flesh was ripped off. Those gloves of his were so sharp that even the Azure Dragon battle armor was unable to block them. What an unexpected failure Long Chen shook his head. He had fallen for a trap. If he hadn't been in a rush to kill the elder, he wouldn't have ended up in this trap. This was clearly a supreme expert on par with the heaven elder, and yet he didn't care about his face and actually came to target Long Chen, a rookie who had just entered the Nether Passage realm. That meant that they viewed killing him as a must. The masked man tossed away the flesh he had ripped off of Long Chen. Without a word, he continued attacking, not giving Long Chen any breathing room. Bang! A cyan brick appeared in front of Long Chen, blocking his claw. Long Chen had taken out the heaven flipping seal at this critical moment. Having been accumulating power for so much time, it suddenly unleashed a wave of power, blocking the attack without any struggle. Good job! exclaimed Long Chen. After being nourished for so long, the heaven flipping seal was now on the same level as Evil Moon. This brick he had found within the mysterious coffin in Devil Spirit Mountain had mysterious origins. Even Evil Moon had a high opinion of it and was constantly trying to teach it how to use its power. Now, those lessons were paying off. Even the masked man was startled. The heaven-flipping seal was so hard that even in his gloves, his hand hurt. It felt like it might break. The heaven-flipping seal expanded, separating Long Chen from the masked man. Long Chen suddenly felt his body lighten as he escaped the masked man's domain. His gaze instantly turned icy. Split the heavens eight. Evil Moon once more unleashed its power. Long Chen was furious. That domain had been far too stifling, and it had almost killed him. Evil Moon was just as angry as he was. The feeling of having power but not being able to release it was infuriating. A scale-like pattern appeared on its blade. As a result, Long Chen felt his spiritual yuan and the power of his astral spaces pour into Evil Moon. A giant saber image appeared in the sky, filled with killing intent. When it slashed into the light domain, the entire light domain exploded. The masked man blocked with both hands, 
and a giant star appeared behind him as he used the same technique as the elder. A muffled bang rang out. The masked man's star blazed with light, seeming to suck away all the power of Long Chen's attack. Suddenly, the masked man coughed up a mouthful of blood. The impact of the attack caused his mask to fly off, revealing his face. Even Long Chen jumped in shock. Chapter 2409 Visiting the Mo Family Translator Born to be the silver mask of that man came ripping off with the skin of his face, revealing a bloody appearance. With his face torn off, the man hastily grabbed the mask, terrified. However, without hesitation, Long Chen slashed the mask. The mask instantly exploded, and the man let out a mournful shriek. A black mark suddenly appeared on his forehead and spread throughout his entire body. Curse energy turned the space around him black. Long Chen hastily retreated, feeling a chill. He didn't want to be touched by that black light. A deep sworn. Long Chen's heart shook. Although he didn't know what was up with the mask, it was clear that it was used to control him. With the mask off, the curse erupted. A-H-H the man screamed as if millions of sinister ghosts were devouring his soul. It was a hair-raising scream. A grand fourth-step nether passage expert was actually being controlled by someone. That was a frightening thought. When the black mark fully covered his body, he exploded. Seeing that, Long Chen's scalp turned numb. The Yi family was truly vicious. He had a new understanding of the Yi family. Long Chen suddenly slashed Devil Moon again, sending a saber image tearing toward the masked elder who had been about to flee. Speak. Who sent you? demanded Long Chen. The masked elder detonated without hesitation. The power of his astral space exploded along with his physical body, sending a wave of death everywhere with him as the epicenter. This was different from the previous fellow whose curse had activated. Mountains vanished without a trace, and a bottomless hole appeared in the area, with the laws of space in complete chaos. This single detonation was incredibly powerful. After a while, Long Chen came crawling out of the mud and hacked up a few mouthfuls of blood. Just then, the detonation had been extremely sudden. He had expected the elder to still have a few trump cards and had been hoping to slowly grind them out and capture him alive. But the latter had simply killed himself. The detonation of his astral space in particular had been extremely terrifying. Being caught at such a close range, Long Chen's body had almost been blown apart. Anyone else would have been blasted out of existence. What a disaster of a day. I didn't get anything. Long Chen spat out some blood hatefully. The Yi family had actually sent two deep swarms to kill him. They were even stronger than he had thought. As well as vicious. The first elder had definitely been bait. They had most likely calculated that he wouldn't be a match for Long Chen and were using him as bait to get Long Chen closer. When Long Chen tried to kill him. The second one would then come out. Furthermore, they had most likely not wanted to kill him but capture him alive. Otherwise, they wouldn't have come one after another. Do they want my secrets? Long Chen sneered inside. It seemed that after the alchemy competition, the Yi family had grown covetous. It was unknown if it was due to his alchemy techniques or the moon and star refining furnace. Looking at the battlefield, Long Chen shook his head. Even after such an irritating battle, he hadn't gained anything. After patting the dust off of himself, he sped off. Once he left, two figures materialized in the air. One of them was Elder Long, while the other was the elder that had sat beside Elder Long during the joint hearing. He was another heaven elder. That elder frowned. What is the Yi family doing? They sent two silver maskers to chase Long Chen so brazenly. Elder Long waved his hand. Fragments of ice flew over from every direction. Those were the shattered fragments of the masked elder's ice sword. He indifferently said. Do you still not understand the Yi family? With the family head in seclusion. They have Yi Ziwei in charge. Yi's hiking is from her bloodline. And they have pretty much the same character. With Yi's hiking stirring up trouble and Yi Ziwei's foolishness. Do you think it's possible for them to come up with any better of a plan? When speaking of Yi Ziwei. Elder Long was clearly disdainful. Long Chen is quite powerful. He was able to settle things without us interfering, said the other elder. Both those fellows died aggrieved. They thought that their life and death domains would be enough to handle Long Chen since he has yet to reach that realm. That resulted in them trying to capture him alive. 
When Long Chen shattered the fellow's domain, it left fragments of his energy in the surrounding space. So when he tried to use his life and death energy against Long Chen, he was affected by his own power that hung in the air. As a result, he only managed to unleash at most 80% of his power against Long Chen's attack. His internal organs were shattered and came flying out of his mouth, causing his mask to fly off. He was definitely resentful about that as he died, said Elder Long. That's not right either. The masks of the silver maskers don't come off just like that. How could coughing up blood make it fall? Other than the actual person, it's very difficult for anyone else to remove the mask. It was a sum of factors from when he was struck. His blood chi erupted. His mind received an impact. And the runes on his mask loosened. Adding on how hard he coughed up the blood. It resulted in the mask flying off. That's why I said he was definitely vexed upon dying. His luck was truly bad. Otherwise, Long Chen would have had to pay a price to handle him and might not have been able to kill him at all. Explained Elder Long. Looking around and not seeing anything else that they needed to handle, the two of them faded back into the void. Long Chen found a nearby river. He washed his clothes and cleaned himself up. After killing two fourth-step nether passage experts, Long Chen didn't feel the slightest bit of happiness. Instead, he was solemn. The first masked expert had just reached the fourth step and was only there to test him. The second one was the true killer. The only reason he had managed to kill him was because his mask had fallen off, resulting in the curse activating. Otherwise, even if Long Chen could beat him, his chances of killing him were extremely low. However, the high priest had said that a matured blood wing demon king was on the same power level, and Feng Fei was able to kill one easily. That showed the difference between them. It seems that I really do need to get stronger. Perhaps only once the sixth star is fully condensed and my realm rises will I be able to match the sovereign sprouts. But first, I need to go to the Mo family. I need to know what's up with Mo Nian. Thinking of Mo Nian, Long Chen helplessly sighed. As others were cultivating, he was rushing around. The difference between them was starting to grow. However, complaining only led to resentment. He had certain burdens he had to carry. He quickly set off for the Mo family's ancestral land. When he arrived, he saw that they were on high alert. The grand formation was active as if powerful enemies might arrive at any moment. When they saw Long Chen, they jumped. Old fellow, what's going on? The one to receive Long Chen was Mo Nian's grandfather, Mo Yi. Mo Yi's cultivation base had reached the sea expansion realm, but due to his age, even with great medicinal pills and resources, he had essentially reached his limit. The branches of the Mo family had gathered once more. This place was filled with experts, and with Mo Yi's cultivation base, he was unable to reach the higher ranks. However, despite his low cultivation base, everyone in the Mo family respected him. He was the only one capable of giving Mo Nian a beating and scolding him. It's probably those cowards from the ancient family alliance. I don't know what's gotten into them but they've been surveilling us. We have no choice but to be on guard, answered Mo Yi. Let's not talk about that, child. It's been a long time. When we get a chance, we should have a proper drink. Mo Yi was delighted to see Long Chen. It could be said that he had watched Long Chen and Mo Nian grow up. When Long Chen had shared the celestial inheritance with Mo Nian, he had essentially allowed Mo Nian to become a mutated celestial capable of reaching the peak. It could be said that Mo Nian owed some thanks to Long Chen, but as brothers, his thanks were not expressed through words. Otherwise, that would be diminishing their relationship. The drinks will have to wait. I came to see Mo Nian. Has he woken up yet? Asked Long Chen. I don't know what happened to Nian or, even after so long, he's still in the netherworld. But his soulster is still present, said Mo Yi worriedly. Mo Nian was currently the pillar of the Mo family. He was needed to take charge. Although Mo Yi was able to temporarily take his place as his elder, as time passed, that would become unacceptable. Although the current Mo family looked unified and calmly ready to face their enemies, they were all anxious. I'll bring you over and see if you can help him at all. Mo Yi quickly led Long Chen to the rear mountains. Chapter 2410 Once more entering the netherworld translator. 
born to be Mo Nian was within one of the secret rooms beneath the Mo family's ancestral land. Even with Mo Yi leading the way, they had to go through 13 blockades and be investigated time and time again before being let through. Mo Nian's safety was paramount to the Mo family. He was not just Mo Yi's grandson now but the hope of the entire Mo family. There could not be any mistakes. There were over 30 nether passage experts guarding the secret room. What surprised Long Chen was that one of them was at the fourth step. Greetings, family head. Mo Li hastily bowed upon seeing that man. Long Chen had never known that the Mo family possessed an expert on this level. No wonder Mo Nian had been able to run rampant in the outside world. The old man nodded at Long Chen kindly. Your reputation precedes you, Long Chen. I'm honored to see you in person. Senior overpraises me. As Mo Nian's brother, I should have come to see you a long time ago. I'm ashamed of being held back by so many trifles, said Long Chen. What kind of joke is that? Don't be so serious. Come in. Mo Nian is inside. The head of the Mo family personally opened the door, bringing in Long Chen and Mo Yi. The final barrier to Mo Nian was actually the head of the family. Mo Nian's body was seated at a stone disc his fiancé, Lu Zongying, was beside him. She looked like she had been weeping. Long Chen. Upon seeing Long Chen, Lu Zongying's reddened eyes brightened. Long Chen nodded toward her and walked over to Mo Nian. His face was dark without the slightest trace of life. He was like a corpse. However, this was the natural husk left behind when attacking the Nether Passage realm. The soul was already in the Netherworld. It could be said that in some ways, Mo Nian was already dead. Long Chen, you have to help Mo Nian. He, Lu Zongying bit her lip and began to cry. Although she was normally fierce toward Mo Nian, her feelings for him were true. Even after all this time, Mo Nian had yet to awaken. She felt like her sky had fallen, and she had been unable to calm down enough to cultivate during this time. After reaching the Nether Passage realm, she stayed beside him refusing to leave. I'll think of a way. Long Chen nodded and pressed a finger against Mo Nian's forehead. This action made the others jump. The family head hastily said, Long Chen, you can't. If you send your soul inside his body, you will be drawn into the netherworld. The laws there will not permit you to enter, and you will be destroyed. Such a thing is in defiance of the heavenly deos. Although the martial heaven continent side knew very little about the netherworld. Some of its laws were well known. A state like Mo Nian's had occurred in the past of the cultivation world. When others tried to help them, they all died without exception. No one could help someone cheat their way through the netherworld. Lu Zongying regretfully said, Long Chen, I'm sorry for saying that. If something happens to you, Mo Nian won't forgive me when he wakes up. Her intention had never been for Long Chen to do such a thing. Don't worry about me. I'm not suicidal. I'm just seeing if I can link up with Mo Nian and see what state he's in, said Long Chen. He pressed the rest of his hand onto Mo Nian's forehead. Mo Yi's heart was pounding hard. This was far too dangerous. If something happened to Long Chen, they would have no way to explain themselves to Mo Nian. They all became apprehensive. In a mix of hope and uneasiness, Long Chen's spiritual strength slowly entered Mo Nian's mind. See, it was completely empty. As Long Chen carefully entered Mo Nian's spiritual space, even he was a bit nervous. This truly was dangerous. If his soul was drawn into the netherworld, then considering that he no longer met the requirements for attacking the nether passage realm, he would be exterminated by the laws of the netherworld. He kept absolute control over his spiritual fluctuations, not disturbing the core of Mo Nian's mind. See, that core was a dark yellow ball of light, the essence of his soul. That place was also called the Niwan. It could be considered a bit similar to a magical beast's crystal core. If his spiritual strength fluctuated and activated the Niwan, then he would be instantly drawn into the netherworld. What he wanted to do was fully enter Mo Nian's body without disturbing his Niwan. That was essentially impossible considering the harsh requirements over someone's spiritual strength. However, this was the best option that Long Chen had thought of before coming here. He had great confidence in his spiritual strength, but to say that he wasn't nervous would be a lie. To be safe, he kept a portion of his spiritual strength within his own body, just in case. 
Perhaps he would be able to rip his soul back out if something happened. Damn, when did this fellow's spiritual strength become so powerful? I've already passed 40%, past 50% and I won't be able to pull back. Long Chen's heart tightened. He had originally thought that Mo Nian's spiritual strength wasn't so strong, and that he could take control with under half of his spiritual strength. But with how powerful Mo Nian's spiritual strength actually was, it seemed that he wouldn't be able to follow through with that plan. Long Chen cursed. When did this fellow become so low-key? If Long Chen didn't fill his spiritual sea, he wouldn't be able to achieve his goal. Clenching his teeth, Long Chen continued sending in his spiritual strength, his nerves growing more and more tense. He had to avoid disturbing Mo Nian's Niwen. Finally when around 60% of his spiritual strength had entered, Mo Nian's body shook ever so slightly. Long Chen instantly stopped. Long Chen sighed. He had managed to avoid touching Mo Nian's Niwen. He slowly focused on Mo Nian's Danshan, in particular the giant star. That was Mo Nian's astral space. He looked around it and didn't see the five element sun hunting bow, making him have a trace of hope. So Mo Nian had managed to bring the five element sun hunting bow into the netherworld with him. It seemed that Long Chen wasn't the only one who possessed the ability to bring objects into the netherworld. Evil Moon, can I use you as a bridge to communicate with Mo Nian? What are you using me for? The laws of the netherworld aren't to my taste. Using Linger would be better. She is a demonic furnace and the materials that went into creating her came from the netherworld, said Evil Moon. Long Chen immediately turned to Linger, who agreed. Using the Demon Moon Furnace, he entered Mo Nian's astral space. When the Demon Moon Furnace entered Mo Nian's astral space, it began to thrum according to a specific rhythm. However, even after a long time, there was no further reaction. Long Chen didn't give up, and the Demon Moon Furnace continued to thrum. Eventually, it said, Big Brother Long Chen, there is a fluctuation calling me. Should I go? Long Chen was delighted. Not yet. Continue connecting with it. I will transmit my spiritual fluctuations over as well. Mo Nian finally responded. This was Mo Nian's astral space and it had a definite connection to Mo Nian's soul. Using the Demon Moon Furnace's fluctuations, he tried to draw Mo Nian's attention, and had finally succeeded. This meant that Mo Nian was definitely alive. Linger, I will entrust my soul to you. When Mo Nian calls you over, bring me with you, said Long Chen. All right, Evil Moon, you protect the bit of my soul that connects with me here. When I want to return, if I don't have the ability to, Help pull me back, said Long Chen. Don't worry about it, said Evil Moon. Thanks. Long Chen sent his spiritual strength pouring into the Demon Moon Furnace. In that instant, his aura vanished. Long Chen, Mo Yi, the family head, and Lu Zongying all let out startled cries. They instantly turned as pale as paper. Long Chen had gone to the netherworld to bring Mo Nian back. There's no need for you to worry about him. Evil Moon's icy voice rang out shocking them. Within the Demon Moon Furnace, Long Chen followed Mo Nian's spiritual fluctuations, and he appeared in a dark world. Long Chen, is that you? From within that darkness, Mo Nian's voice rang out Novaloon.com Who else would it be? A ghost? Get out here, snorted Long Chen. Not sensing any danger, he jumped out of the Demon Moon Furnace. Upon seeing Mo Nian, he jumped in shock. Who did this to you? Chapter 2411 The Netherworld's Ancient Tomb Translator Born to be when Long Chen popped out of the Demon Moon Furnace, he jumped in shock upon seeing Mo Nian. Half of Mo Nian's body was gone. He was curled up in a dark corner, his aura extremely weak. Seeing Long Chen come out of the Demon Moon Furnace, Mo Nian was delighted at first, but then upon hearing what he said, he raged. Do you have the face to say such a thing? I was implicated by you and almost died. I implicated you? When did you change your name to Lazy? Go slander someone else, said Long Chen. He used his own energy to help heal Mo Nian's wounds, only to find that there was some strange law trying to devour Mo Nian's vitality. That was why his recovery was so slow. However, with Long Chen's help, they managed to suppress that power. Mo Nian finally began to recover quickly. As he recovered, he said, tell me, 
Do you know someone named Hong Yeo Liang? Hong Yeo Liang? Never heard of him. Long Chen shook his head but then suddenly said, Hmm, that does sound familiar. I think I've heard of him. Long Chen suddenly felt that he had heard this name, but no matter how he tried, he was unable to recall it. That fellow claimed to be a Nithurgant. I had just broken past the final trial and was about to leave this world when that bastard suddenly came out of nowhere, roaring about how anyone related to you had to be killed. The path collapsed, and countless nether warriors appeared. I was hunted throughout the netherworld. Fuck. It really pisses me off. Mo Nian ground his teeth. Long Chen suddenly recalled this fellow. He had met him in Mian Kangyu's palace. Seeing his expression, Mo Nian snorted. So, who is slandering who? I was implicated by you, right? What did you do to offend a Nithurgant? Long Chen shrugged helplessly. I didn't really do anything. I just didn't like looking at him so I slapped him. Mo Nian's jaw dropped. After a long pause, he laughed. Not bad. Fuck. No wonder I was chased for so long. If I knew this was the reason, I'd have felt much better. When am I going to get a chance to slap him as well? Mo Nian felt quite satisfied, as if he had been the one to slap Hong Yeo Liang. Many of my memories of the netherworld are fading. If you didn't say that he was a nethergut, I wouldn't have remembered him. That idiot took his anger out on you? We'll definitely repay him for this, said Long Chen hatefully. Back then, Hong Yeo Liang had come to discuss something with me and Kang Gyu, only for her to ignore him. Then upon seeing Long Chen, he had suddenly grown jealous and attacked him, only for me and Kang Gyu to freeze him. Long Chen had taken advantage of that to slap him. Actually, he hadn't even managed to injure him. It was his own hand that hurt. Hong Yeo Liang was infuriated though and after saying some vicious words, he left. Long Chen had ignored him since they weren't in the same netherworld and wouldn't run into each other again. He hadn't expected that fellow to take out his anger on his friends. He, a nethergut, had actually used some method to find the people related to him. Mo Nian was truly unlucky to have run into him. Now he was unable to leave this place. He, since that's the case, then I guess I'm not wronged. You slapping him is just like me slapping him. Mo Nian chortled, slowly standing up. He stretched, his body fully recovered. Long Chen said, Since you've passed the final trial, your Yuan spirit has received the Netherworld's approval. As long as you return to the Martial Heaven continent, you'll be a Nether Passage expert. I have the Demon Moon Furnace and Evil Moon on the other side, so I can return at any time. But after being chased down for so long, do you have any thoughts on giving Hong Yeo Liang a beating? The reason that Long Chen didn't directly drag Mo Nian back was because he was unwilling. Mo Nian had been beaten into this miserable state. If they didn't strike back, how were they supposed to accept this? Long Chen first asked Mo Nian what he was thinking. After all, he had been here for so long. He, you really are my brother. You really understand me. After being chased for so long, I've already prepared everything. Actually, I had a way to get out, but I didn't want to leave empty-handed. I wanted something big. An evil smile appeared on Mo Nian's face. Long Chen rolled his eyes. As you waited for your opportunity, the people on the Martial Heaven continent were worrying themselves sick over you. Lu Zongying has yet to leave your side and was weeping when I saw her. The Mo family's people are sick with worry. When Long Chen explained the current state of the Mo family, Mo Nian was shocked. What? It only feels like it's been 10 days. Over half a year has passed on the continent. The flow of time here is different. Let's hurry up so we can get back to the continent. What plan do you have? Asked Long Chen. Time was passing much quicker here. He had to get back soon. All right. Since you've come, let's do something big. I'll bring you to a certain place. Mo Nian led Long Chen out of the darkness. He touched the walls as he walked, eventually pushing aside a large rock. Long Chen realized that Mo Nian was hiding beneath the rubble of a statue. Is this a statue of that bastard Hong Yeo Liang? Asked Long Chen. Once they came out of the back of the statue, he saw a towering palace. This was most likely the Nithurgud's palace. Mo Nian had actually chosen to hide here. He, this is the darkness under the light. They definitely wouldn't expect me to hide here, snickered Mo Nian. Long Chen, 
I ran all over the netherworld dodging them. I've figured out many rules of the netherworld. Do you see that curtain of light up ahead? That is the testing area for the nether passage realm. As long as I go there and release my aura, those nether warriors will quickly appear to kill me. After being chased for so long, I've learned how to hide my aura here, which is how I was able to thwart them. If I had wanted to, I could have hidden my aura and disguised myself as someone else to get by them. However, I discovered that there's an ancient tomb on the opposite side of this palace that has no one guarding it. When I tried to get in, I was injured by some dark light that almost killed me. I'm guessing that there's definitely treasures in there. When he mentioned the ancient tomb, Mo Nian's old habits of his profession popped up. His eyes were blazing with passion. Long Chen disdainfully said, So your injuries were your own fault, and you blamed me for them. Cough. Well, if you trace it to the source, it all stemmed from you. Haha, <laughs> let's not talk about that. I'll teach you my amazing aura concealing art. Mo Nian taught Long Chen a very specific technique. It was essentially using his own aura to imitate a different fluctuation. It was very simple, and Long Chen even had doubts that it would work. However, Mo Nian swore that it had worked for him. Concealing themselves in black cloaks, they carefully crept forward. Within a mountain, Mo Nian pushed aside a boulder, revealing a large cave. Upon entering, Mo Nian returned the boulder to its original location. Entering deeper into the cave, Long Chen realized that it was freshly excavated. You brought all your tomb robbing equipment here, exclaimed Long Chen. How many times do I have to tell you? It's archaeology. It's archaeology equipment, corrected Mo Nian. Eventually, they arrived at a fork that diverged into three paths. Long Chen rolled his eyes. A crafty rabbit has three burrows he. Safety first. I naturally left myself ways out, chortled Mo Nian. The two of them quickly passed through the caves. When they arrived at a dead end, Mo Nian formed some hand seals, causing a certain mechanism to activate. A stone door actually revealed itself on the wall and opened. After that, an aura of decay came out from within, one that was so corrosive that Long Chen had no choice but to resist it with the power of his Yuan spirit. You dug up tombs all the way to the netherworld. If this information gets out, it'll probably shake the world. Not bad, praised Long Chen. It's curious. When I started gravarabing archaeology I mean, it was because I was forced to in order to restore the power of the five element sun hunting bow. But as I did it, I found that many experts left behind their secrets in their tombs. By digging out their historical remains, I've learned a great deal of history that no one else knows. You know me, I'm very smart and eager to learn. Don't look at me like that, I really am studious. Fine, well, I found I've gradually come to love archaeology. I have a grand aspiration of using my tools to excavate the entire history of the world for everyone to see, said Mo Nian. There was a practically holy light in his eyes. Fine, if you can find out the lost history of the continent, it truly would be a sacred profession. Long Chen nodded. He. Good brother, you have vision. My family is extremely against it. My grandpa curses me every day. But what does he know about the significance of archaeology? Let me tell you let's talk about it later. All right, we'll get to work, said Mo Nian. Now truly wasn't the time to talk about such things. Mo Nian brought Long Chen through seven doors. It went without saying that his skill in this area was amazing. Long Chen didn't even see how he had managed to open those stone doors one after another. When the eighth door is opened, the black nether chi will gush out. Last time, I was injured at this moment. Do you have any ideas? Asked Mo Nian. Chapter 2412 A God's Mortal Husk Translator Born to be last time, Mo Nian had been gravely injured upon reaching this point. The dark nether chi most likely isn't a mechanism. It's something that accumulated due to how long this place has been sealed. I'm sure there's some treasure inside. But the dark nether chi will burst out as soon as the door is opened. There's no way to dodge it. After some thinking, I've found a way to block a bit of it. But not all of it. I would say that we wouldn't even be able to last a few minutes within it. Said Mo Nian. That was too little time. And it was a conservative estimate. I'll handle it. Long Chen began to communicate with the demon moon furnace. A pile of mud appeared in his hand. 
Long Chen suddenly smeared the mud over Mo Nian's face, enraging him. What time is it for something so senseless don't move? This mud is a treasure. The dark nether chi will be unable to go through it, said Long Chen, adding more to Mo Nian's body. Are you telling the truth? Don't con me. Mo Nian looked at Long Chen doubtingly. Long Chen ignored him. After applying it all over Mo Nian's body, Mo Nian turned into a mud person. Long Chen then started applying it on himself. He was unable to reach his back, so he needed Mo Nian to help. The two of them quickly became mud people. This mud was the black soil of the primal chaos space that possessed its own particular death energy. Even the death spirit water had been unable to get through it. So Long Chen was confident. Don't let the mud fall off. Open the door, said Long Chen. Mo Nian nodded. Since Long Chen was so confident, there shouldn't be a problem. With their bodies covered in soil, they looked very comical. They could only use their divine sense to see. Mo Nian touched several spots on a pillar beside the door. A different colored room lit up every time he touched it. Rumbling rang out and the door slowly opened. A flood of darkness swept over them. If they hadn't been prepared, they would have been blown away. It really is immune to the dark nether chi exclaimed Mo Nian in delight. The black soil completely isolated them from it. Eventually, the force behind the deluge of nether chi weakened enough for the two of them to walk in. Damn, both of them sucked in a cold gasp of air. They were in a giant room, so big that they couldn't see the other side. This room was filled with skeletons. They were lying on the ground, limp but the auras they gave off made their hair stand on end Novaloon.com Those were the skeletons of giant beasts. Looking closely, there were 36 skeletons, but they filled this giant room. It was impossible to tell what their original forms were like or their level. Their bones were pitch black like cast iron. Even the runes on them contained the aura of darkness. Most likely, they were species specific to the netherworld. Based on their auras, they are probably above the nether passage realm said Mo Nian, smacking his lips. Even though they were just skeletons, they still gave off a feeling of mortal danger to them, most likely, but their crystal cores are intact, and their skeletons aren't damaged. How did they die? wondered Long Chen. Look, up ahead, what kind of diagram is that? Mo Nian pointed suddenly. Long Chen looked over, only to see another door with a bizarre diagram on it. At the center of it was a winged person holding a sword. It seemed that the 36 beasts were prostrating toward it. Long Chen came to a sudden realization. This was a sacrificial ceremony. These beasts were sacrificed having learned some fundamentals about formations from Xia Chen. Long Chen managed to vaguely recognize a sacrificial formation. It was no wonder these beasts had their skeletons in perfect shape. Their flesh had been sacrificed, but their energy remained locked in their bones and crystal cores. I want these corpses, said Long Chen a bit excitedly. For what, Stu? Can't you just take their crystal cores? Asked Mo Nian. No, perhaps Meng Chi will be able to control these skeletons. What? How can dead beasts still be controlled? I'm not sure either. But what if it does work? Better to try it. A light of anticipation appeared in Long Chen's eyes. If it actually does work, wouldn't you be able to sweep through the world? Exclaimed Mo Nian. If Meng Chi could have these skeletons fight as if they were alive, that would be far too terrifying. These were beasts above the Nether Passage Realm. 36 beasts above the Nether Passage Realm? That power was unimaginable. It was worth it to come here. Mo Nian, you study how to open the door. There's definitely something amazing behind it. I'll take these skeletons. Long Chen reached out to grab one of the skeletons. He found that even though they were just bones, they were as heavy as a star. He had to use his full power to lift and toss them into Mo Nian's astral space. Then through the Demon Moon Furnace sending them and Evil Moon receiving them, Mo Nian's astral space became a conduit, allowing these skeletons to be sent back one after another. It was hard work moving them all. By the time he was done, Long Chen felt exhausted. As he recovered his breath, he saw Mo Nian had also accomplished his task. He had been pressing around on the door for this entire time and had finally managed to activate the runes on it, making it slowly open. When it was just the slightest crack open, a wave of divine pressure burst out of it, sending them both flying. They coughed up blood. 
their Yuan spirits barely having survived the impact. When the door was fully open, the divine pressure raged in the room. It was like thunder crashing, accompanied by harsh, blinding lightning. The roaring made them feel like they might collapse. In front of that divine pressure, they felt incredibly minuscule. This is definitely a treasure. Perhaps this is the greatest discovery of my lifetime. Mo Nian was ecstatic. There was definitely something unimaginable behind this door. The divine pressure gradually stabilized, and only once it stopped blasting out of the door did they manage to walk forward and take a look inside. As soon as they did, their hair stood on end. Hong Yeo Yang, Long Chen instantly recognized the person seated within the hall behind the door. He was icily staring at the two of them. Mo Nian had not seen Hong Yeo Yang. He had only heard his voice. As a Nathurgut, Hong Yeo Yang had only sent his troops out to kill him. But Mo Nian had requested Long Chen to display how he had slapped Hong Yeo Yang. So he knew what he looked like. The first thought of Mo Nian's was that they were doomed. They had actually walked right into Hong Yeo Yang. There was no way they could fend off the god of this world. No, it's not Hong Yeo Yang. It's his mortal husk exclaimed Long Chen suddenly. Hong Yeo Yang was just staring at them, not doing anything. Furthermore, his aura was different from what Long Chen recalled. Although there was divine energy surging within him, his eyes lacked any life. Through that, Mo Nian also realized something was off. Hong Yeo Yang's expression didn't change at all. The two of them slowly crept in. Hong Yeo Yang was seated on a throne within this room. Suddenly, Hong Yeo Yang's eyes brightened. The throne shook slightly, making Mo Nian cry out. Without hesitation, he shot an arrow at him. His arrow exploded into smithereens upon reaching a distance of three inches from Hong Yeo Yang. Don't move. It's definitely his mortal husk. Our aura stirred the runes just now, said Long Chen, stopping Mo Nian from shooting his second arrow. He pointed at the bricks beneath them. Long Chen had just stepped on one and one of the runes on it was just barely flashing. When he took his foot off, the rune stopped flashing and faded away. Fuck, that was terrifying Mo Nian was sweating. This shedding of Hong Yeo Yang's looked just like a real person. Long Chen indicated to Mo Nian not to move. He squatted down and carefully looked at the bricks. He was just barely able to see some runes on some of the bricks. As he wasn't a formation master, he didn't know what this formation was. But clearly, those bricks could not be touched. Long Chen began to mark those bricks, indicating not to step on those. His estimate was that these runes were not used to target invaders. Otherwise, the mechanisms here should be even stronger. Hong Yeo Yang had to be confident in his territory, and so he wasn't worried about the defense of this place. There's something behind him. Let's go around. Long Chen pointed at the throne. The two of them carefully looked around and they saw a large platform with a sword stabbing into it. Upon seeing that sword, Mo Nian's eyes blazed with light. We've really struck gold this time. Chapter 2413 Heaven Swallowing Sun Hunting Translator Born to be the sword was translucent and had multicolored light flowing within it. Bursts of divine pressure exuded from it, stabbing their souls. This sword was just lying there. If it was actually used to fight, wouldn't its power directly shatter a person's soul even before it struck? What gold? It's not like you use swords, said Long Chen. This sword was definitely a priceless treasure, but with their power, it would be a fool's dream to take it. They were unable to even approach it. He, since it's a priceless treasure, it definitely has destiny with me. There's a divine pool as well over there. Mo Nian was delighted and seemed confident that it would be his. Behind the platform with the sword was a divine pool. Dark red liquid that looked like blood filled it. There were strange ripples within the pool. One scene after another appeared within it. Looking closely, Long Chen said, This is Hong Yeo Yang's tomb. He buried his past life here. All the images that were appearing within the pool contained Hong Yeo Yang. They were scenes of his cultivation, or his past battles, as well as some childhood memories. It seems that the legends are true. When you become a god, you have to leave behind your past to start a new beginning. But no one is willing to erase their memories, so they bury them. Long Chen, this pool definitely contains Hong Yeo Yang's experience in reaching godhood. You should take it. 
Then you'll have his experience and will be able to cultivate far easier. You won't have a single bottleneck, said Mo Nyan. Are you an idiot? Your cultivation path will definitely be affected by him if you absorb it. Walking another person's path isn't a good thing, said Long Chen. Although it would allow a person's cultivation path to become flat and easy to traverse, another person's path would sooner or later reach an end. Long Chen's goal wasn't just to become a god. Furthermore, to tell the truth, he disdained touching Hong Yeo Yang's legacy. You're the idiot. Once you become a god, you'll bury your past anyway. Then you won't be affected at all, said Mo Nian. Long Chen shook his head. My path is different from others. I definitely don't want this fellow's inheritance. You're the one who said that. So don't say that I don't give you good stuff first, chortled Mo Nian. Long Chen frowned. Don't tell me that you're really going to take his inheritance? I'm telling you, it's too dangerous. Long Chen had thought that Mo Nian was just joking at first, but now it seemed that he was serious. If he really did this, he wouldn't have a chance to regret it. He, who do you think I am? Do you think I'd do something so foolish? After my years of gravirubbing archaeology, do you think all my experience is for naught? As long as I absorb his inheritance, everything of his will be mine, and everything that is mine will remain mine. They won't get mixed together at all. Furthermore, when I don't want his things, I can directly erase them. Mo Nian patted his chest confidently. Fine, since you're so confident, go ahead. Do you need me to do anything? Asked Long Chen. Mo Nian thought about it. That's a problem. The pool, sword, and husk are all treasures. The pool contains his experience in attaining godhood and can assist me in becoming a god. The sword contains endless divine energy that can help the five element sun hunting bow progress. The husk contains the full inheritance of that fellow, including his cultivation technique and magical arts. They're all important, but they're definitely linked to Hong Yeo Yang's true body. Once we touch them, he'll definitely sense it. Most likely, the divine pool is the only thing that can be absorbed without him instantly sensing it. I can't think of anything about the rest. We're in a rush, so I'll absorb the blood pool and we'll head out, sighed Mo Nian. He was very unwilling to just leave these treasures. Wait, you said that your five element sun hunting bow can absorb the divine energy of the sword? Are you telling the truth? Asked Long Chen suddenly. Based on what he knew, Mo Nian's five element sun hunting bow might be powerful, but it hadn't reached the point of being able to take power from that sword. After all, that sword was incredibly strong. It contained Hong Yeo Yang's full power from before he became a god. Although Hong Yeo Yang hadn't been a god at that time, his divine item had been marked by him as a god. Ignoring whether or not the five element sun hunting Ba was even capable of taking energy from it, even if it could absorb the energy, wouldn't it directly explode? Are you looking down on me? Just take a look at this. Mo Nian waved his hand, summoning a three inch long translucent bow. If Long Chen didn't recall how the five element sun hunting Ba looked, he wouldn't have recognized it. At this moment, it was very small, but there were nine holes on it with whirlpools on top of them absorbing energy. Since we're brothers, I'll share this secret with you. Even within the Mo family, no one but me knows this. The two ancestors of the Mo family had a grand plan called the Heaven Swallowing Project. Their goal was to transform the five element sun hunting bow into the Heaven Swallowing Sun Hunting Bow. Through my years of archaeology, I've started to turn it into the shape of the heaven-swallowing sun-hunting bow. These nine whirlpools exist to absorb all kinds of divine energy. Anything that would be favorable to its transformation will be automatically sucked in. If it wouldn't help, it's rejected. Let me put it to you this way. As long as I have the right resources, I can allow the heaven-swallowing sun-hunting bow to grow without limit, said Mo Nian proudly. Long Chen was really shocked now. The Mo family's ancestors had truly come up with a great plan. To sum up, I'll be getting stronger and stronger. But don't worry, I'll look after you. I'll be toying with the people who have offended us every day in the future, said Mo Nian. I'm going to absorb the pool. Then let's head out. Wait a minute, said Long Chen suddenly. What is it? Since you have that ability, let's get it all. I want to as well, but it's not possible. 
We don't have time for anything complicated either. If they had enough time, they could study the runes around this place and think of a way to cut off their connection or screen off this place. But they didn't have enough time. They had to return for the Starfield Divine World. I will think of a way to hold back Hong Yeo Yang so you have enough time to absorb it all. I'll also leave the Heaven Flipping Seal with you so we can stay in touch. Ling Er will come with me, said Long Chen. He needed the Demon Moon Furnace with him, but then he wouldn't be able to stay in touch with Mo Nian. He needed a divine item standing guard over Mo Nian's astral space in order to stay connected. Furthermore, that divine item needed to be linked to his own soul as well. With Evil Moon guarding his true body, the Heaven Flipping Seal was the best option. You, hold back Hong Yeo Yang? Are you crazy? Demanded Mo Nian. That was the god of this world. I estimate that I can stall him for two hours. Work hard to take everything as fast as possible, said Long Chen. You sound serious. Mo Nian couldn't believe his ears. Of course. Don't absorb the pool for now. When I'm ready, I'll give you the signal through the heaven flipping seal. Long Chen flew off, leaving a bewildered Mo Nian. He felt like Long Chen was about to do something crazy, going out through the way that they had come in. Long Chen didn't see anything odd. He was about to fly out when he sensed something and hastily hid. A group of armored warriors flew through the air right above him. They flew into a spatial channel, which was where the nether passage path was according to Mo Nian. It was unknown if they were sent to hunt him down as well. It seems that those are the nether warriors that Mo Nian mentioned. They're comparable to third step nether passage experts. It seems that Mo Nian really has some ability to be able to survive after being hunted down by them. Long Chen nodded in admiration upon sensing their power. The current Mo Nian had yet to pass his tribulation. He was still stuck in the Life Star Realm. For him to stay alive and be able to probe the tomb of a Nethergood in this state showed that he was definitely a marvel. Once they were gone, Long Chen waited a bit longer and came out again, closing his eyes and sensing the world. He smiled. If this was the Netherworld, then the Karmic Hell Flames were definitely present. He sensed their fluctuations. He began rushing over in that direction, using the Celestial Lightning Body Blink at full power to speed away. After an incense stick's worth of time, he stopped in front of an ancient pagoda. The pagoda only had one level, but it was unleashing an incredibly evil air. That air was something Long Chen was familiar with because he had entered it before. This was purgatory. From the outside, it looked like a pagoda. When he had escaped from purgatory back then, he hadn't managed to see this form of it. Len Yuian said that the karmic hell flames were within purgatory. It seems that this is the place. Long Chen took a deep breath. He clasped his hands together and began to chant. The sound of a sacred scripture began to ring out. Chapter 2414 Karmic Flames Burn the Heavens Translator Born to be Long Chen began to circulate the Nirvana scripture. His face was serene. One note after another came out of his mouth. As peace fell over the world, one rune after another appeared filling the air around him like shooting stars. Those were runes condensed of the world's flame energy. With these flame runes in the air, it felt like it was night, with stars hanging in the sky. Endless flame energy gathered here, forming a whirlpool of stars around Long Chen. As more and more of them appeared, Long Chen's chanting grew louder. He went from the first volume of the Nirvana scripture to the second volume. As the world's flame energy gathered around him, Long Chen managed to sense the karmic hell flames dancing within the ancient pagoda. The karmic hell flames were responding to him. It was like by gathering all these flames, he had gathered a pack of hyenas against the Lion King. It seemed that they felt provoked. The karmic hell flames were attempting to charge out of purgatory, but they were unable to break the seal. Last time I was only able to summon the karmic hell flames because Len Yuian had opened the path to purgatory, but this time, I can rely on the karmic hell flames to come out on their own. Long Chen took a deep breath. The chanting changed once more. The words he was chanting transformed into runes that merged into heaven and earth. It was like gods were chanting, filling the world with an unspeakable divine might. With the third volume of the Nirvana scripture, the flame runes moved of their own accord, forming a pair of giant wings on Long Chen's back. Those flame runes were expressing absolute allegiance to Long Chen. They were willing to be used by Long Chen. 
willing to become a part of him. Such a scenario had never occurred before. Although he had previously used the Nirvana scripture to control the world's flame energy, this time, the flame energy was becoming one with him of its own accord. Before this, he had been forcing the flame energy to be his, but now, the flame energy was willingly doing what he wanted. The two were completely different concepts. The pagoda was shaking intensely. Long Chen could sense the karmic hell flames going crazy inside. It was like a king was being provoked. Suddenly, a stream of flames came gushing out of the bottom of the pagoda, and a wave of heat ignited the world. The karmic hell flames had finally broken out of their seal. Endless flames were charging out from underground. Wherever they went, the earth began to melt. Those flames roared at Long Chen in the form of giant beasts. Big brother Long Chen, I need those flames. Toss me inside later. I'm going to refine myself, exclaimed Ling'er. It was unknown what materials had gone into making the demon moon furnace. At that time, Ling'er had yet to awaken her spirit, so she had no recollection. Now though, she was capable of sensing what would benefit her and what wouldn't. All item spirits had sharp intuitions for this kind of thing. Ling'er could sense that the karmic hell flames would be very beneficial to her. No problem. Just wait a bit. Long Chen was delighted to see the karmic hell flames had finally come out. His flame wings shuddered, and one small flame lotus after another rained down from them, exploding amongst the karmic hell flames. The giant flame beasts formed of the karmic hell flames were originally holding back slightly, seemingly somewhat afraid of Long Chen. However, this action infuriated them, and like oil had been tossed onto the fire, they charged into the air, attacking him. Seeing that, without a word, Long Chen turned and ran. This seemed to further antagonize the karmic hell flames. The karmic hell flames burst forth like a dam had been broken. They poured into this world, igniting heaven and earth. Mo Nian, you can start, transmitted Long Chen through the heaven flipping seal in Mo Nian's astral space. Long Chen brought the karmic hell flames flying toward the Nithurgud's palace. Wherever he went, the earth vanished. Hong Yeo Yang. You little ghost, get the fuck out here, today, I, Long Chen, am going to beat the crap out of you, Long Chen announced himself as soon as he arrived, within the palace, the icy-faced Hong Yeo Yang had his hands clasped in front of his chest, he was seated on a prayer mat, a divine seal flickering on his forehead, five-colored light was shining behind him, moving according to a set rhythm, it seemed that he was doing some kind of cultivation, all of a sudden, a knocking sound rang out, and a crack appeared in the mark on his forehead. His body shuddered and his divine energy collapsed. He suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood, which transformed into runes that merged back into heaven and earth. Courting death, Hong Yeo Yang furiously waved his hand. A door suddenly opened, and an armored person was sucked toward him. Hong Yeo Yang grabbed his throat, filled with killing intent. Did I not say not to disturb me when I'm in seclusion? Do you want to die? What is your excuse? Hong Yeo Yang's voice was frighteningly cold. Just now, he had been in a critical state of his cultivation, but this person's disturbance had ruined everything. He was on the verge of killing this person in his rage, but since this person was a loyal follower of his for many years, he held back. Master, this lowly one had no other choice but to disturb you. Just now, someone has challenged you to battle babbled the person in his grip. Challenging me? They're really courting death. I'll go take a look. My mood isn't good today. Hong Yeo Yang tossed that person aside. He started walking, and his expression suddenly changed upon seeing the karmic hell flames surrounding his palace. Hong Yeo Yang immediately activated the palace's protections. Divine light enveloped it. How did the karmic hell flames get here? It was too sudden. We have no idea what is happening. If there wasn't any other option, I wouldn't have dared to disturb you, reported his follower. Hong Yeo Yang's expression grew dark. The karmic hell flames were flames from purgatory. They burned all things possessing karma, which included mortals and gods. Why didn't you say so earlier? Hong Yeo Yang clenched his teeth. The karmic hell flames had enveloped the palace. He needed to maintain the defenses and was unable to go investigate what was going on in purgatory. If he left, the palace would be incinerated. If his throne was destroyed, he would be done for. 
For a moment, he was unable to come up with any way to handle the karmic hell flames. He flew out of the palace and stood on the peak. Suddenly, he saw a black-robed man standing at a pill furnace smiling at him. It's you. Hong Yeo Yang's eyes almost popped out of his head. He couldn't believe that Long Chen was here. Hong Yeo Yang, you have some gods. Instead of being grateful for the lesson I gave you, you actually dared to harbor resentment. Today, I'll make sure that the lesson sticks. Prepare a diaper because I won't be leaving without beating the crap out of you. Long Chen and the pill furnace were completely covered in flames. They were like a lonely boat within an angry sea. The beasts that the karmic hell flames had manifested were crazily attacking him, but the other flames had formed a giant barrier around Long Chen, protecting him. With the support of the third volume of the Nirvana scripture, other than the karmic hell flames, all other flames had to listen to him. Those flames were helping him block the karmic hell flames of their own accord. At least for a short time, the karmic hell flames were unable to touch him. Long Chen's guess was that he should be able to control the karmic hell flames, but his current power was too low to make them submit. That was why they were fighting against him for supremacy. The demon moon furnace had grown to many times its original size, appearing like an island floating within the sea of flames. Ling Er was absorbing the karmic hell flames for herself. When he asked her what she was doing, Ling Er was unable to say. Long Chen's guess was that the demon moon furnace was originally created with the karmic hell flames. Most likely, there hadn't been enough karmic hell flames at the time, resulting in many areas of her body being improperly refined. That was why Linger was using them to refine herself again. Standing within the sea of flames and staring at the shocked Tong Yeo Yang, Long Chen felt a sense of pride. Perhaps the only one who dared to challenge a god in his realm was him. Regretfully, there was no way to use a photographic jade to record what was happening here. Otherwise, if he could spread it throughout the martial heaven continent, it would definitely terrify his enemies. Hong Yeo Yang's expression was gloomy. He suddenly snorted and pointed a finger. As a result, divine light condensed into a sword and pierced through the air. However, in that instant, Long Chen vanished, hiding himself within the demon moon furnace. The demon moon furnace sank within the flames. As a result, his sword pierced through the karmic hell flames, blasting a hole through them. Hong Yeo Yang turned green. The karmic hell flames began to rage. They crashed upon the palace like a tsunami. Chapter 2415 Do you dare to fight me? Translator. Born to be the sea of karmic hell flames seemed to have been provoked by Hong Yeo Yang. They crashed against the Nithurgad palace. Long Chen, you despicable fellow. If you have the gods, come out and fight. Roared Hong Yeo Yang, clenching his teeth furiously. He knew he had been conned by Long Chen. The karmic hell flames were flames beyond his power as a god. Anything within the cycle of reincarnation could be incinerated by the karmic flames. In his fury, he had attacked Long Chen. Originally, he had locked Long Chen down with his divine power and had been confident that his blow would kill him. However, he hadn't expected Long Chen to easily escape his lock by being sucked into the demon moon furnace. As a result, he had planted the seed of karma between himself and the karmic hell flames when his attack struck them. Now, he would have to reap the consequences. The karmic hell flames currently viewed Long Chen and Hong Yeo Yang as mortal enemies. With Long Chen hiding inside the demon moon furnace, the karmic hell flames couldn't reach him. He didn't even need to defend against them. Seeing the karmic hell flames attacking Hong Yeo Yang, Long Chen laughed. Hong Yeo Yang, you weak coward. If you have the gods, come out and fight. If you don't come, I'm your granddaddy, you. Hong Yeo Yang was so infuriated that his hair was standing on end. Seeing Long Chen hiding within the demon moon furnace with the karmic hell flames powerless to touch him, Hong Yeo Yang was completely enraged. He didn't dare to charge into the sea of karmic hell flames. If he attacked the karmic hell flames again, that would plant more karma between them. If it was just this amount of karmic hell flames, then that wasn't too worrisome. However, with too much karma, all of Purgatory's karmic hell flames would come out, and he would be doomed. Long Chen, do you think a turtle shell will protect you? Idiot. The karmic hell flames can only be unleashed for a limited amount of time. After four hours, 
they will be summoned back by the laws of purgatory. Then I'll make you regret coming to this world, declared Hong Yeo Yang. Four hours. Did you hear that? Mo Nian, you have four hours, transmitted Long Chen. All right, I'll do my best to be quick, replied Mo Nian. Mo Nian had also run into trouble on his side. The sword's power was so great that it was taking a great deal of effort for the five element sun hunting bow to absorb it. He needed to suppress it as his bow absorbed it. His original plan was for the five element sun hunting bow to absorb the sword's power while he absorbed Hong Yeo Yang's mortal husk's inheritance. But now he could only go one at a time. Just from that reply, Long Chen knew that Mo Nian was having trouble. He needed to think of a way to stall. Hey, that little brat called Hong Yeo Yang. Do you have no ability at all? Get over here and fight. My blade has long since grown thirsty for your blood. Called out Long Chen arrogantly. Hong Yeo Yang sneered. You want to provoke me into attacking the karmic hell flames again? How childish. When the karmic hell flames retreat, we'll see if you can still be so arrogant. Hong Yeo Yang refused to fall for it. If he attacked the karmic hell flames, he would draw more karma over. Their power would also increase. At the time I started being arrogant, you were still in diapers, sneered Long Chen. But as soon as he said this, he felt like he had gone a bit too far. That was a god of this world, an existence that had been living for who knew how many millennia. Ha ha ha. A little just as Hong Yeo Yang laughed derisively, Long Chen came shooting out of the karmic hell flames, slapping him in the face. Hong Yeo Yang hadn't had any defenses against Long Chen, someone he viewed as an ant. As a result, Long Chen's slap landed solidly on his face. Moreover, Long Chen's hand was enveloped by the karmic hell flames, setting Hong Yeo Yang's face on fire. Hong Yeo Yang roared and punched Long Chen. Even before the punch arrived, Long Chen felt like his body would crumble from the pressure. Long Chen vanished, reappearing within the demon moon furnace. This was a trick he had drilled in advance with Ling Er. With his mind connected to the demon moon furnace, he was able to instantly enter the demon moon furnace when it pulled on him. Such a thing wouldn't work on the martial heaven continent, but here in the netherworld, he was just a Yuan spirit and not restricted in that way. Even a god's lock was escapable using this method. Long Chen's vanished, resulting in Hong Yeo Yang's furious punch tearing through the karmic hell flames. Seeing the devastation resulting from this one punch, Long Chen smacked his lips. Damn, if that hit, not even a hundred lives would be enough. Fortunately, they had been fast enough to get away. But Ling Er was afraid. Big brother Long Chen, don't play around anymore. If I was the slightest bit slower just now, you would have died. It's fine. Having fun is stimulating, laughed Long Chen. Big brother Long Chen, do you really have such faith in me? Asked Ling Er. Of course, you're my partner. I've entrusted my life to you when refining pills, so I can do it now as well, replied Long Chen as he looked through the karmic hell flames at the furious Hong Yeo Yang. Big brother Long Chen, Ling Er's voice shuddered. She had never had anyone that had any faith in her. Every one of her masters had simply used her to their own advantage. She was always viewed as a tool. Even if she was something so important that others would view her as important as their own life. She was just something to benefit others. She had never tested what trust was. But working with Long Chen, she felt his absolute trust in her. That made her feel a gratitude that she had never felt before. Hong Yeo Yang's expression changed. This punch of his was even stronger than his previous attack. The karmic hell flames were enraged. You bastard. Hong Yeo Yang roared furiously. He hastily formed hand seals and then slammed his hands on the palace. He needed to raise the palace's defenses if he wanted it to survive. A wave of fire came crashing out of the flames as his hand slammed on the palace. Hong Yeo Yang ignored it, allowing it to sweep over him. Just at that moment. A hand reached out from within the flames and struck him in the face. You shameless brat. Do you dare to fight? Hong Yeo Yang had never expected Long Chen to dare to attack again. As a result, another handprint appeared on the other side of his face. Hong Yeo Yang was enraged. His hand reached out like a bolt of lightning to grab Long Chen. The clothes on Long Chen's shoulder were torn off, and several bloody holes appeared there. His blood gushed out. 
Hong Yeo Yang had reacted so quickly that Long Chen hadn't had time to retreat. Fuck off. You even dare to scratch me. Long Chen twisted back, following the flow of the karmic hell flames to fall back. He said goodbye by landing a foot on Hong Yeo Yang's nose. Hong Yeo Yang felt a sour feeling on his nose, and tears streamed out. Although he was a god, in order to avoid karma, he had not summoned his strongest defenses. His more powerful defenses would cause a backlash to the karmic hell flames, which would increase the karma. As a result, by taking advantage of this, Long Chen managed to slap him twice and stamp his nose. Hong Yeo Yang went crazy. Die. In his rage, Hong Yeo Yang didn't care about any consequences. A sword suddenly appeared in his hand. The entire netherworld shuddered when that sword appeared. Boom. Sword Chi cut the sea of karmic hell flames in two. This sword was capable of destroying an entire world. However, Hong Yeo Yang was still one step too slow. As soon as Long Chen's foot had landed, he returned to the demon moon furnace without waiting for Hong Yeo Yang's reaction. Long Chen reacted even faster than Hong Yeo Yang because he knew that in terms of speed, he couldn't compare to the god of this world. Big brother Long Chen, please stop playing around. It's too frightening exclaimed Ling Er. If Long Chen had been the slightest bit slower, he would no longer exist in this world. He, okay, I'll stop playing. That was enough. Long Chen smiled. Karmic hell flames came gushing over, enveloping the sky. The flames were coming from every direction to attack the palace. Long Chen, you bastard. You won't have a good death. Hong Yeo Yang let out a bestial roar. He had been conned by Long Chen once more. This attack of his had fully provoked the karmic hell flames. The defenses outside of the palace had been incinerated, and the flames were now attacking the palace itself. Hey, how can you curse people like that? It's classless this time. Long Chen stayed right next to the demon moon furnace, simply looking at Hong Yeo Yang in a carefree manner. Just wait. Hong Yeo Yang roared and ignored Long Chen. He sat on top of the palace, an image of a throne appearing behind him. He was finally activating the power of the Nithurgod's throne. If he didn't, the palace would be incinerated. Divine light filled the palace creating a barrier that blocked the karmic hell flames. However, he had barely stabilized the situation when his expression completely changed. He once more looked at Long Chen, his eyes full of killing intent. You bastards, you're stealing my mortal husk. Chapter 2416 Collecting the Karmic Hell Flames Translator Born to be why does your tone suck so much? What do you mean? Steal. We're not stealing. We're taking. Understand. Long Chen lazily smiled at the furious Hong Yeo Yang. With his connection to Mo Nian, he was able to sense that Mo Nian had finished absorbing the energy of the sword and had moved on to the mortal husk. However, Long Chen had told him to wait for a moment. The reason he had taken the risk to attack Hong Yeo Yang again was to force him off his throne. Based on Long Chen's understanding of Len Yu Ian and Mian Kang Yu, he knew that the throne was the foundation of their power. If he didn't kick Hong Yeo Yang off the throne, then perhaps it would have been possible for him to stop Mo Nian from taking his mortal husk. After seeing how infuriated Hong Yeo Yang was, Long Chen guessed that he had been correct. The blood pool and divine sword had lost most of their connection to him before this, but his mortal husk was different. It was his past life. Although he had buried it, it wasn't completely severed. So he had sensed it when Mo Nian began to touch it. Unfortunately for him, the karmic hell flames were crazily assaulting his palace. Long Chen's ability at causing trouble had brought a calamity upon him. While Long Chen was hiding inside the demon moon furnace, since he didn't attack them further, the karmic hell flames were focused on Hong Yeo Yang. The karmic hell flames had been provoked by Long Chen at the beginning due to him using the Nirvana scripture to control all flames. They didn't want to listen to his orders due to how weak he was. Even with the Nirvana scripture, they were unwilling, so they fought. Now that Long Chen was simply hiding and not further antagonizing them, the karmic hell flames lost a great deal of their hostility toward him. Their attacks were concentrated on Hong Yeo Yang. These karmic hell flames are terrifying, but they aren't united. If used properly, then even a god could be incinerated in an instant. 
Long Chen sighed emotionally as he watched the karmic hell flames attack the palace. At this moment, Hong Yeo Yang focused entirely on blocking the assault of the karmic hell flames. He had no time to bother with his mortal husk. That was precisely the result that Long Chen had been looking for. The demon moon furnace slowly floated above the sea of flames. Long Chen poked his head out. The flames protecting him dissipated. When he stopped using the Nirvana scripture, the karmic hell flames no longer felt that he was trying to control them, and they stopped targeting him. Now he even dissipated the other flames to express his sincerity, showing that he posed no threat to them. The karmic hell flames didn't bother him. Hong Yeo Yang, work hard. I look favorably upon you, encouraged Long Chen. Hong Yeo Yang almost died from rage. His palace was surrounded by karmic hell flames, and he was only able to bitterly hold on. He couldn't even stop his mortal husk from being stolen. Normally, a single strand of his divine power sent to his mortal husk could wipe out Mo Nian, but now he had to focus entirely on the karmic hell flames. He didn't dare to get distracted. If his palace was incinerated, then his throne would be vulnerable. His throne was the foundation of his power. If it was damaged, he would lose his power. If his throne was damaged, his divine energy would fade away. Tens of thousands of years of cultivation would be gone in an instant. He should be able to wipe out Long Chen with a smack. But he didn't dare to at this moment. Seeing him standing there so carelessly, Hong Yeo Yang felt like he might explode. All he could do was focus all his power on blocking the karmic hell flames. Once they used up all their energy, they would return to purgatory, and then he could wipe out Long Chen and Mo Nian. He was in a race against time. It would just be up to who could achieve their goal first. Hong Yeo Yang was a bit regretful that he had been too careless. He had provoked the karmic hell flames. How had that landed him in this plight? Mo Nian, hurry up. This fellow has seen through our goal. Messaged Long Chen. Don't worry, I'm almost done, replied Mo Nian. Hearing that, Long Chen relaxed. Looking around, he asked Ling Er, When you absorb the karmic hell flames, can you help me absorb a bit for myself as well? Not much, just a tiny bit. Long Chen returned to within the demon moon furnace. Huo Long was currently in slumber within the heavenly flame orb. He wanted a bit of the karmic hell flames for it to absorb in the future. With Huo Long's constant growth, he felt that it would be possible for Huo Long to gain the power of the karmic hell flames if it devoured some of them. If Huo Long could transform its flames into karmic hell flames, just how terrifying would that be? Ling Er assented and a ball of dark red liquid slowly condensed within one of her runes. Amazing, praised Long Chen. The demon moon furnace was actually able to draw in some of the karmic hell flames so easily. Furthermore, its innate will had weakened. The demon moon furnace was truly a supreme treasure. Long Chen formed a hand seal, and a translucent flame wrapped around the karmic hell flames. The karmic hell flames actually ignited the inverse Tao water spirit flame. Huo Long is still in slumber, so the flame energy I can control is much weaker. Long Chen shook his head. With his current flame energy, it seemed that it would be very difficult to subdue even a single drop of the karmic hell flames. Time to risk it all. Long Chen clenched his teeth and directly sent the karmic hell flames into Mo Nian's astral space. Boom. Mo Nian's astral space was instantly set ablaze. What are you doing? Are you trying to incinerate my astral space? Mo Nian's voice rang out from the other side. The drop of karmic hell flames vanished in the next moment. The heaven flipping seal had sent it into the primal chaos space. It had only been in Mo Nian's astral space for the blink of an eye. However, in that blink of an eye, Mo Nian's giant astral space became a barren land. Black space twisted just from its passing. Long Chen hadn't even alerted Mo Nian in advance, making him jump. If his astral space was destroyed, he would be doomed. Ignoring Mo Nian, Long Chen waited for Evil Moon's reply. Very quickly, it replied that the karmic hell flames had been suppressed. Nice. The primal chaos beat has never disappointed me. Long Chen clapped his leg excitedly. The primal chaos beat was truly amazing. Ling Er, help me absorb some more, but do your best not to disturb them too much to avoid them targeting us. One drop after another of the karmic hell flames passed through Mo Nian's astral space. 
making Mo Nian cry out. He demanded an answer. Long Chen replied that he had to focus on his own work and absorb the mortal husk. Nothing else was worth his attention. Using Mo Nian's astral space as a conduit, he sent more and more of the karmic hell flames into the primal chaos space. As he moved more and more of them, he found that as long as he was fast enough, the damage to Mo Nian's astral space was almost negligible. Furthermore, any damage slowly recovered in time. It wouldn't affect his combat power. Big Brother Long Chen, I'm finished. I've completely removed all the impurities in my body, said Ling Er excitedly. He, excellent. Then help me absorb more of the karmic hell flames. This is very useful to me. All right. Ling Er began to help Long Chen absorb more and more of the karmic hell flames. They gushed out of her runes and condensed into a foot long ball. Nice. Long Chen's heart pounded excitedly. If such a large amount of karmic hell flames were not controlled properly, then they would blow up Mo Nian's astral space. If that happened, Mo Nian might just come for his life. He pushed his spiritual strength to the max to maintain the stability of that sphere. He passed it through Mo Nian's astral space as fast as possible. The flame sphere didn't even land on the ground, but it left a mass of violently twisting black space within Mo Nian's astral space. However, it didn't damage his astral space. Seeing that, Long Chen was at ease. He began to absorb more and more. Last time, he hadn't had a chance to gather any of them. Just thinking about how he had missed that chance filled him with regret. This time, he wasn't going to miss this opportunity. Fortunately, there were so many karmic hell flames outside that they didn't seem to feel any sense of alarm with him stealing a bit. An incense sticks worth of time later. Long Chen suddenly sensed that the power of the karmic hell flames was starting to decline. Mo Nian, are you done yet? There's not much time left. Previously, Hong Yeo Yang had said that it would take four hours for the karmic hell flames to retreat. However, it had not even been two hours, and they were already showing signs of declining. It was unknown what trick Hong Yeo Yang had played. Haha, <laughs> I just finished. Now what? Should we find a place to meet up? asked Mo Nian. No need. I'll send the demon moon furnace into your spiritual space. You summon her and enter, and then the heaven flipping seal can send you to my side. Long Chen covered himself in his flame protection. He left the demon moon furnace's protection and sent it into Mo Nian's spiritual space. Within the sea of karmic hell flames, Long Chen felt like he was going to be incinerated. He estimated that he would be dead within three breaths time. Fortunately, Mo Nian was quick. Long Chen summoned the demon moon furnace again and immediately entered. Damn, you did all this. When Mo Nian arrived, he stared in amazement at the scene before him. Chapter 2417 Taking a Doorbolt Translator Born to be Hong Yeo Yang? Haha, <laughs> so a bastard like you has fallen into such a state. With the demon moon furnace floating above the sea of flames, Mo Nian came out and laughed at Hong Yeo Yang. Hong Yeo Yang was pale, and the divine light coming out of him was showing signs of fading. It seemed that he had also reached his limit. Bastard, you dare to steal my inheritance, raged Hong Yeo Yang. What do you mean? Steal? I took it. At best, you can consider it plundering. He, little brat, you chased me down for so long. What's wrong with me taking a little bit back? Don't like it? Bite me. Mo Nian laughed. Seeing Hong Yeo Yang's current plight made him want to dance in excitement. All right, stop messing around. We don't have much time left. Once the karmic hell flames retreat, even if that fellow's exhausted, he can kill us with a single attack. Long Chen pulled Mo Nian away. It seemed that he had forgotten their current situation and simply wanted to enrage Hong Yeo Yang to death. Fine, we got our revenge and some treasures. We can go. There's nothing to stay for. The only regret I have is that I didn't get to slap him as well. Ah, it's so regretful. How about I go and try it right now? Asked Mo Nian unwillingly. Hong Yeo Yang coughed up a mouthful of blood. The multicolored blood faded into the air in a wave of divine power. Damn, what a pretty sight. Brother, I'll give you money if you show me that again. As a hick, I have never seen such a sight. Exclaimed Mo Nian. You. Hong Yeo Yang clamped his mouth shut. Blood leaked out. If you have to, just cough it out. 
Holding it in must be painful. Furthermore, if you just hold it, it won't go anywhere. Well, if you don't want it to go out from the top, you can let it go out from the bottom. But if you pull down your pants, it won't be as nice of a sight. Sighed Mo Nian. Han Ye Oiang didn't reply. When Mo Nian was about to continue antagonizing him, Long Chen stopped him. He cut off his divine sense. He can't hear you. Let's go. Fine. Although I didn't get to piss him to death, I've gained enough. He chortled Mo Nian. Suddenly, he saw that Long Chen was sending the demon moon furnace to the direction of the palace. Hey, where are you going? It was so hard for us to come here. How can we not take a little bit back before leaving? This door bolt is a treasure. Long Chen pointed to a certain set of gates in the palace. You can't be serious. Mo Nian looked at those gates. His face twitched. They were so tall that he couldn't see the top of them. The two doors had a notch between them with a giant door bolt keeping them closed. The duke bolt was pitch black and emitted a hair-raising aura. Even without Long Chen saying anything, Mo Nian knew that it was a treasure. But no matter how big his guts were, there was no way he would dare to do such a thing. Is this even possible demanded Mo Nian. It's fine. I've done a similar thing twice. This time, we'll even have the protection of the karmic hell flames, said Long Chen completely relaxed. Bastards, what are you doing? Demanded Hong Ye Oiang, his expression changing. We're going to leave, but you're pretty rude not to send us off with a gift. So we'll be taking one ourselves. Long Chen and Mo Nian arrived at the gates. There was a strange force around the gates that prevented the karmic hell flames from approaching. Long Chen and Mo Nian no longer needed to block them. Looking at the giant door bolt, Mo Nian felt a fire light up within him. He had no idea what material it was made of, but the energy it gave off was incredibly evil. He wondered if the heaven-swallowing sun-hunting bow could absorb it. Mo Nian tried to lift the bolt, but even with his full power, he wasn't able to budge it. Damn, it's too heavy. On the other side of the bolt, Long Chen also lifted with his full power. As a result, the door bolt did quiver slightly. However, that was all. He was far away from lifting it. It's no good. We can't lift it, said Mo Nian. We can. Come over here. We'll lift from the same direction and make the bolt lose its balance and fall off, said Long Chen. Mo Nian flew over. Long Chen took a deep breath and summoned the Azure Dragon battle armor. Mo Nian also used his full power. Slowly, the door bolt began to rise. Rumbling sounds rang out. Stop. Those are the holders of evil. If the gates are opened you'll be instantly killed shouted Hong Ye Oiang. This slight distraction caused the palace to quiver, and the karmic hell flames got even closer, causing him to jump and return his focus on them. What are the holders of evil? They look pretty evil themselves, asked Mo Nian spiritually. He didn't have the energy to open his mouth. It has nothing to do with us. Work hard. The karmic hell flames are getting weaker. They'll probably vanish in a little bit, replied Long Chen as he lifted. Stop, roared Hong Ye Oiang. Long Chen ignored him. The door bolt slowly began to slide off. Hong Ye Oiang was roaring, but Long Chen chose to ignore him. Eventually, after sliding off a certain extent, the dupe bolt fell. Now, Long Chen flew after it and grabbed a corner. Space twisted and the door knocker vanished, reappearing in Mo Nian's astral space. Boom. The door bolt landed on the ground and a wave of earth exploded. Cracks filled his astral space. Mo Nian cried out. Are you trying to kill me? His entire astral space was cracked. It was just one step from exploding. Mo Nian was drenched in sweat. Just at that moment, the doors rumbled and a sinister air came out of the crack in the doors. A terrifying sensation of death filled Long Chen and Mo Nian. Run. Without hesitation, the two of them hid within the demon moon furnace. A burst of mysterious energy exploded out of the gates. Following that, Black Chi gushed out, filling this world. Even the karmic hell flames were blasted away by that Black Chi. The impact caused them to retreat back into purgatory. It's over. This netherworld is done for. Seeing the Black Chi invading this world, Hong Ye Oiang's expression was one of hatred and despair. Long Chen and Mo Nian had vanished, and he was just foolishly staring at the open gates. He suddenly roared, Long Chen and that other bastard, just wait, 
I will definitely find you. Following that, the palace split apart in the middle. Hong Yeo Yang grabbed the upper half and flew away, vanishing across the horizon. It wasn't long after he left that the Black Chi filled the entire netherworld. Countless dark creatures came out of the gates. They roared, their voices full of resentment. Within the Mo family's ancestral land, the family head, Mo Yi, and Lu Zongding were silently standing there like statues. Every blink of an eye felt as long as a year. Long Chen's life force had faded away, but there was still the slightest aura of his spirit. However, those spiritual fluctuations would occasionally fade, making their hearts clench. They didn't even dare to take a deep breath. They were waiting for a miracle. It had been seven days, but there were so signs of either of them waking up. Suddenly, Long Chen's body twitched. He began to breathe, delighting them. Lu Zongying cried out, Long Chen, you're awake. Mo Nian, is he? Long Chen had been planning on teasing her a bit, but seeing how nervous she was, he decided against it. Don't worry, he's fine. You can sense that his soul is back. At this moment, they realized that Mo Nian was no longer dead. However, he was still unconscious. Lu Zongying immediately grabbed Mo Nian and wept tears of joy. Even Mo Yi's eyes grew wet. Long Chen, what's wrong with Mo Nian? Why isn't he awake? Asked Mo Yi. Ah, Long Chen was embarrassed. It was because Mo Nian was focused entirely on repairing his astral space after the door knocker had damaged it. If it wasn't repaired quickly, there was a chance it could shatter. He would only wake up once his astral space had recovered from that crisis. It was Long Chen's miscalculation, so he didn't know how to explain it. Just at that moment, alarms began to blare from above. Mo Yi and the family head's expressions changed. Enemy Attack Chapter 2418 A Strange Sneak Attack Translator Born to be senior, you should stay here to prevent the worst case scenario. I'll go up, said Long Chen. The family head nodded. All right, Nyaner's safety is number one. I'll leave things to you. Although this was the most hidden part of the Mo family's ancestral land, the family head had to be careful. He and Lu Zongying stayed behind, while Long Chen and Mo Yi flew off. They passed through the layers of blockades. Boom. The Mo family's grand formation shattered. A giant arrow shot toward the Mo family's main palace. Courting death. Someone really was attacking the Mo family. Seeing that giant arrow, Long Chen appeared beside it and grabbed it. This was an exploding arrow that had reached the heart of the Mo family. If it exploded here, it would kill quite a few people. Long Chen was about to send it into the primal chaos space, but just at that moment, his expression changed. Killing intent raged in his eyes. Boom. The arrow exploded. It was actually being controlled by someone, so it didn't need to crash into something to explode. Countless fragments shot out of it, but those were blasted into powder by Long Chen. Despite that, a chi wave spread in every direction. The closest buildings were crushed and countless experts of the Mo family coughed up blood, with some who were too close directly dying from the shockwave. This exploding arrow was an extremely terrifying killing tool. Protect old man Mo Yi, ordered Long Chen already, shooting off in a certain direction. In a single step, Long Chen saw a group of people in a giant flying boat rushing away. The people on that flying boat were wearing robes of the ancient family alliance. Upon seeing Long Chen, they didn't hesitate. All the giant ballistas on the flying boat pointed toward him. Fire. One arrow after another shot through the air. Explosions shook the sky as they exploded on contact with Long Chen. Let's go. The elder who had given the order to fire immediately ordered them to retreat without even looking at the result. The flying boat transformed into a streak of light. Boom. However, that flying boat was suddenly cut in two by black saber light. The experts at the center of the flying boat were wiped out of existence. Want to go? Leave your lives behind first. Long Chen sneered and flew toward the elder. This sneak attack against the Mo family was bizarre. This leader of theirs was only a third step nether passage expert. They didn't have the power to attack the Mo family. This was clearly courting death. Suddenly, the surrounding land exploded. Sword Chi shot out from every direction at Long Chen. A formation Long Chen was surprised. This was a trap. 
Every ray of Sword Chi was on par with the attack of a fourth step Nether Passage expert. This killing formation had been set up far in advance. Long Chen, your death is at hand. The elder laughed. His terrified expression had been an act. The dozen rays of Sword Chi intersected with Long Chen at the center. A blinding light filled this place. Thousands of experts began to come out of the surrounding mountains and rush over. Quick, see if you can find Long Chen's corpse. It would be best if he's still alive, shouted the elder. The elder took out another flying boat. At this moment, the Mo family's experts were rushing over. Space was still twisting violently from the formation's attack. People didn't dare to get close. It would be best if I was alive, then you can die. Long Chen's icy voice suddenly rang out. Like a curse from hell, those experts froze. Then, without a second thought, they fled. At that moment, a pill furnace slowly appeared within the twisting space. This was the demon moon furnace. Those attacks weren't something that Long Chen's physical body could endure. So he had simply summoned the demon moon furnace. Having been tempered by the karmic hell flames, it blocked those attacks without any effort at all. Are you in such a rush? I'll send you on your way quickly. Long Chen snorted. The runes on top of the demon moon furnace lit up. Flame arrows shot out. The experts flying were rapidly struck and incinerated without being able to scream. As for the elder on the flying boat, he had fled as soon as Long Chen's voice had appeared. By the time Long Chen was done killing the other experts, the elder had vanished. His flying boat was very fast. Long Chen put away the demon moon furnace. Lightning wings appeared on his back. Long Chen. You should not chase a cornered enemy. Mo Yi's voice rang out from behind him. He was worried that there would be even worse traps up ahead. He had also realized that the sneak attack on the Mo family had occurred only because their real target was Long Chen. Don't worry about me. I'm confident Long Chen vanished. A cornered enemy? No. It was a rich enemy. Long Chen accelerated, quickly managing to sense the flying boat. However, he chose not to charge onto the flying boat. Instead, he maintained a distance where he could sense the flying boat, but it couldn't sense him. Since their target was him, there wouldn't be a follow-up attack on the Mo family. What he wanted to know was what drug his enemy had taken to do this. Following the flying boat, he realized that they were going straight to the headquarters of the ancient family alliance. Defang, your guts are getting bigger. The ancient family alliance's headquarters was located in a desert within the central plains. This desert had a certain oasis that was like an island within a sea of sand, and it was covered by a giant formation. The flying boat reached the oasis and slipped through the formation. Ripples appeared on the barrier before it accepted its pass. When Long Chen arrived, the formation rumbled, and countless runic swords condensed on top of the formation, pointing at Long Chen. Who goes there? Countless experts of the ancient family alliance appeared. Their weapons pointed at Long Chen. I want to say that I'm your dad, but I feel like that would be insulting myself. Do you not know who I am? Why ask? Long Chen looked coldly at the head of these guards, who was a Nether Passage disciple. Perhaps there might be some members of the senior generation who didn't know him. Some old monsters would go into seclusion for decades or centuries. It was normal for them to not know of him. However, a young disciple of the current generation, it was impossible that he didn't recognize Long Chen. Long Chen, what are you doing here? Demanded that disciple. To say that he wasn't afraid in front of Long Chen would be a lie. He was a figure that terrified the martial heaven continent the most. Once he was enraged, he dared to do anything. Many people who had thought themselves powerful had died to him. Although they were also new Nether Passage experts just like Long Chen. Compared to him, they were as weak as ants. Long Chen could wipe them out with a wave of his hand. However, as members of the ancient family alliance, they refused to look too weak. I won't make things hard on you. Tell Di Long and Di Feng that Daddy Long has come. If they don't come out, I'll go in myself to find them. But my temper is not very good. So I might kill some people I don't like on the way. I'll give you ten breaths time. As for what they choose, I don't care, said Long Chen coldly. In truth, there was no need for these disciples to report it. Someone had to have reported it as soon as he arrived. But Long Chen was still giving them some time to prepare. After a moment, 
Long Chen slowly walked closer to the formation, causing those disciples' expressions to change. Long Chen, what are you doing? Time's up. If you don't want to die, get out of the way. Of course, if you want to become martyrs, I don't mind helping you achieve that goal. Long Chen raised Evil Moon, a giant saber image condensed in the sky. Those disciples instantly fled. They didn't dare to block Long Chen. Long Chen, don't you think your bullying has gone a bit too far this time? A group of people flew over, with Di Long and Di Feng at the front. There was another person with them that surprised Long Chen. A flash of comprehension appeared in his eyes. Long Chen, what are you doing? It was Feng Fei. She was frowning at Long Chen, seemingly disgusted with his current actions. Long Chen indifferently spat out. Killing people. Chapter 2419 Something wrong with the brain translator. Born to be killing people. The ancient family alliance's experts began to curse at him. Infuriated by Long Chen's attitude. Long Chen. What are you trying to do? You came to the headquarters of the ancient family alliance to kill people. What an absolute tyrant. When did the ancient family alliance provoke you? Do you really think no one can handle you? Senior Feng Fei is here right now, and you still dare to act so arrogant Di Long waved his hand, causing them to shut their mouths. Long Chen, I don't know how my ancient family alliance has offended you, but please tell me, if we really did something wrong, I will immediately apologize. But if you came here just to cause trouble, then although we are weaker, we will not allow anyone to humiliate us. Ha 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 ha. Long Chen laughed as if he had heard the world's funniest joke. What are you laughing at? Demanded Di Long. Long Chen stopped laughing and looked at the father-son duo. I'm laughing at how interesting you are. You are actually playing such a childish game with me. You want to use someone else's blade to kill me. What nonsense are you spouting? If you have something to say, say it directly shouted Di Feng coldly. Long Chen lazily said. You launched a sneak attack on the Mo family and laid down a trap for me. If you killed me with that trap, then good. If you didn't, then you would draw me here and act innocent so that someone else would help you? Not bad. Not bad. Very interesting. Di Feng's expression sank. Long Chen, you're too arrogant. If the ancient family alliance wishes to deal with you, then I am enough on my own. Do you think I'm afraid of you? Feng Er, don't waste words with him. He's just trying to cause trouble. Di Long said. Long Chen, if you want revenge, you should just do it directly. Don't make up such immature excuses. Today, we'll show you that the spine of the ancient family alliance will not bend to anyone. Di Long turned to Feng Fei and apologized. I am truly sorry senior Feng Fei. You only just came, but I have failed as a host. This is a personal problem of my ancient family alliance so I will have to ask you not to interfere. Even if every person within the ancient family alliance must fight to the death, we will not accept other people's insults. Feng Fei frowned. She looked at Long Chen and coldly said, Long Chen, can you not cause trouble? The Martial Heaven continent is starting to enter the Dark Era. Is there a point in killing our own people? Long Chen looked at Feng Fei and shook his head. He sighed. Although I know that a conflict with you is precisely what these two want, I have to say that you really irritate me. Did you get water in your head? Without even determining the truth, you call me someone who stirs up trouble and kills allies? Are you sure there's nothing wrong with your brain? Long Chen was angry. This Feng Fei was really stupid. Di Long and Di Feng were putting on a show for her to see, and it seemed that she didn't notice at all. He had originally been hoping to explain things to her, but now he didn't even have a desire to try. Long Chen understood their plan now. They had attacked the Mo family to draw him out. As for their killing formation, they didn't have much hope for that. If it failed, that would definitely infuriate Long Chen and draw him over here. He didn't know why Feng Fei was here, but it definitely wasn't a coincidence. The D family definitely didn't have the power to invite her here. Most likely, the Yi family was behind it. With Feng Fei visiting, the Di family would definitely go all out to receive her and give her a good impression. Perhaps that included some rumors about Long Chen that created lots of hostility toward him. Although he didn't know the exact course of events, he found this general plan to be not bad. Feng Fei was incredibly powerful. 
but as someone from the divine families. She had been respected from a young age, so no one would dare to use schemes like this against her. As a result, such a simple plot had worked wonders on her. She was directly against Long Chen. Brazen Long Chen, you dare to disrespect Senior Feng Fei in the distance. Feng Fei's attendants cursed at him. They had followed her for many years and had never witnessed someone be so rude to her. He even called her a brainless woman. Senior Feng Fei, as long as you give the word, I will immediately kill him for you. Feng Fei's attendants had taken out their swords. What? If you have an illness, you should accept it instead of killing people who bring it up, sneered Long Chen. Did I say something wrong? This is such a clear trap, yet Feng Fei has jumped into it to be used by them. If that doesn't mean that there's a problem with her brain, what does it mean? Long Chen, Di Feng shouted, you can insult me, but you can't insult senior Feng Fei. Immediately kowtow and apologize. Kowtow and apologize? I've never seen such a thing before. Why don't you teach me how by doing it yourself? Sneered Long Chen. You. Di Feng gasped, not knowing how to respond. Feng Fei stepped forward. Are you forcing me to kill you? Just your disrespect toward me is enough to give me countless reasons to kill you. The Long family wouldn't be able to protect you. My disrespect to you. Long Chen had an inconceivable expression on his face. Why would I have to respect you at all? Respect must be mutual. You don't respect me. So why should I respect you? Are you a sovereign? Well, not even a sovereign forced everyone to respect them. Do you think you're someone even above the sovereign? The more he spoke, the more Long Chen felt that this term, disrespect, was incredibly laughable and nauseating. Long Chen. You've antagonized me multiple times now. If I keep being accommodating to you, you'll think that I'm afraid of you. Come, I'll give you a chance. Use your full power so I can see if you can last even 10 exchanges against me. Feng Fei was finally enraged. Her eyes were icy. His aura began to unfurl, filling the air with an invisible pressure. Feng Fei hadn't even fully unleashed her aura. This was just her aura starting to leak out from her anger. But the pressure she gave off was not at all inferior to any fourth step nether passage expert. Once her full power was unleashed, just how terrifying would she be? Di Long and Di Feng exchanged a glance. They were both shocked at how powerful Feng Fei was. But within that shock was also some delight. Things were going much smoother than they had anticipated. They had arranged many backup plans that they no longer needed. Give it up and put away your intimidating aura. Even if you are powerful, you don't really intend to kill me, so it's meaningless. If you just want to teach me a lesson, then let's skip it. I'm specialized in killing people. As for exchanging blows, I don't have the time nor energy to waste on that. Long Chen shook his head. Although Feng Fei was enraged, Long Chen didn't sense much killing intent. She just wanted to defeat him to vent. Precisely due to that, Long Chen didn't care to fight with her. His specialty wasn't in exchanging blows but in killing. If you're afraid, then you're afraid. Making up some grand lie to cover up your cowardice is shameless. Since you've admitted you're not a match for Senior Feng Fei, kneel and apologize. Senior Feng Fei is magnanimous and will definitely let you off, said one of Feng Fei's attendants disdainfully. I've heard that Long Chen is domineering and arrogant, but this is it. Rumors are just rumors. His true face has been shown today. Novaloon.com He likes to provoke senior Feng Fei. But once she's mad, he doesn't even dare to let out a fart. What kind of crap is this? This is the Martial Heaven Continent's number one expert of the junior generation. Trash. The ancient family alliance's experts began to add in their own taunts. Doing their best to anger Long Chen. Suddenly, a pill furnace appeared behind Long Chen's back. Its runes lit up and a strange fluctuation spread. Long Chen, you, Feng Fei jumped. She recognized that pill furnace to be a demon furnace. The experts who had just mocked Long Chen suddenly felt something pounding in their heads. Following that, their heads exploded. In an instant, hundreds of the ancient family alliance's experts were slain. They died without even understanding how they died. As a result, an uproar exploded amongst the ancient family alliance's experts. A group of ants dares to make a racket? You should quiet down. 
The demon moon furnace's runes were emitting a bewitching light that illuminated Long Chen. That light was sinister and frightening. Both Di Long and Di Feng were shocked. They had no idea that Long Chen possessed such a terrifying move. No one, including Feng Fei, had been able to stop it. Breaking open the demon heart to consume a person. I didn't think that you had merged your soul with a demonic weapon. No wonder you're so arrogant. Fine. Since you have such a powerful demonic weapon, you should be qualified to have a battle with me. After a moment of shock, battle intent rose within Feng Fei. The appearance of the demon moon furnace made her want to fight Long Chen even more. Chapter 2420 Competition of Spiritual Strength Translator Born to be a demon heart eruption. That was the technique that the demon moon furnace had just used. And it was the first time that the demon moon furnace had ever employed its ability to kill for Long Chen. The fact that Feng Fei was able to tell what this technique was surprised Long Chen. As expected, she really was knowledgeable. Her fighting spirit had been ignited with the appearance of the demon moon furnace. However, Long Chen shook his head. I don't have a reason to fight you. It would be best if you didn't make trouble for no reason. I don't want to be played for a fool by others. No matter if he won or lost. As long as he ended up in a fight with Feng Fei. It would be falling for Di Long's plot. By fighting with a figure as powerful as Feng Fei. He would have to expose his trump cards. That's not up to you. Feng Fei stepped forward. No manifestation appeared. No aura erupted. But with a simple wave of her hand. The void twisted. The location that Long Chen was in collapsed. Up. Down. Front. Back. Left. Right. There was nowhere to run. This simple wave of her hand was like a dome covering Long Chen, forcing him to receive her attack. Long Chen was infuriated. This Feng Fei really did have something wrong with her brain. Even though she was clearly being used, she was still doing it. Long Chen also snorted and waved his hand. Just the same as her, he didn't summon his divine ring or battle armor. It was a simple exchange of palms. However, as he unleashed his palm, the divine gate within his mind sea opened and spiritual strength exploded forth. Feng Fei had used her powerful spiritual strength to twist the laws of space. So Long Chen returned the blow with his own spiritual strength. When their two palms intersected, there was no massive explosion. Instead, a tempest of soul energy erupted. Screams rang out. The closest experts felt like their souls would be torn apart. Di Long, Di Fang and the other experts of the ancient family alliance were all startled. They hadn't expected the two of them to instantly start competing in spiritual strength. The stronger experts protected the weaker ones, dragging them back until they were far enough away. The spiritual tempest created strange spatial abnormalities. Startled cries rang out. They were all shocked to see a formless power like spiritual strength damage the void to such an extent Novaloon.com spiritual strength was formless. It was difficult for it to cause damage to physical objects that didn't possess souls. But with Long Chen and Feng Fei's palms still connected, the people saw wild vortexes of power raging behind the two of them. Those vortexes seemed to contain sharp blades that were cutting through the void. Everyone present was a powerful expert in their own right but they had never seen such powerful spiritual strength. They continued to retreat, because even at this distance, they still felt sharp pain in their souls. The spiritual tempest continued to spread. Heaven and earth changed color. You refuse to fight with me and want to compete in just spiritual strength, but you didn't realize that spiritual strength is my strongest area. I'd advise you to go for a real fight, or you won't have the slightest chance of winning said Feng Fei like an arrogant phoenix. Spiritual strength is your strongest area? Then let's compete in it, snorted Long Chen. Long Chen didn't want to have a real fight with her, but this foolish woman was forcing him to. Since Feng Fei had said that her spiritual strength was her strongest aspect, Long Chen used words to trap her into just competing with spiritual strength. That way, he wouldn't need to reveal more trump cards. Fool. Did you think being an alchemist would give you an advantage? Since you're so arrogant, don't blame me if you die. Feng Fei was angered by his indifference. She suddenly retreated. As she fell back, she quickly formed 17 hand seals in one breath. Heaven and earth quivered. A giant illusory figure slowly condensed. 
A phoenix cry rang out, shaking people's ears. Even after having retreated to a great distance, the ancient family alliance's experts felt like their souls would be crushed. Feng Fei had condensed a giant phoenix. It looked alive, with its divine radiance filling the world. With a flap of its wings, the laws of heaven and earth shook. What is that? The phoenix's wild aura was even more frightening than the aura of a fourth-step nether passage expert. However, it didn't have any of the aura of a magical beast or shuen beast. Summon your life soul beast. We'll finish this in one move. Feng Fei floated into the sky, her phoenix behind her. It illuminated her in a peerlessly beautiful light, but her voice was chilling. My life soul beast. Long Chen suddenly recalled Men Chi mentioning that there was a method to condense a soul beast within the Myriad Spirit Diagram. However, condensing a soul beast required a powerful beast soul. The higher the quality of the beast soul, the stronger the soul beast that could be condensed. Men Chi had never found a suitable beast soul, so she had never condensed a soul beast. Condensing a soul beast required a huge amount of soul energy and a life soul beast required ripping away a portion of the body's soul seed to condense it. A person could only have a single life soul beast. It was both a tool for battle as well as an assistance to cultivation. Due to possessing the nine lotus soul condensing pill, Meng Chi had never thought of condensing a soul beast. However, the nine lotus soul condensing pill wasn't for battle. Seeing this terrifying soul beast, Long Chen's heart sank. His soul energy was powerful but he had never spent his time practicing soul arts, let alone condensing a soul beast. Beating you doesn't require me taking out my life soul beast. If you have the ability, force it out. Long Chen thickened his face to boast. Feng Fei was further enraged. Long Chen was actually looking down on her. Her gaze turned cold, and her hand seals changed. The phoenix behind her let out a sharp cry and charged at Long Chen. Wherever the phoenix passed, a vortex of collapsed space was left behind. Despite clearly being condensed of spiritual strength, it was no different than if it was alive. It possessed its own killing intent that filled the air. As expected of Senior Feng Fei, this spiritual attack is practically impossible to block. Fenor, if you were facing her, could you receive this blow? Di Long transmitted to Di Fang. If it was before, I definitely wouldn't be able to block it. However, now I've fully awakened my Blood Emperor bloodline and merged with the Blood Emperor's soul. With the Blood Emperor's soul assisting me, I should have no problem against this move, said Di Feng with a smile. Good. Remember, you can't expose your current power. Once you enter the Starfield Divine World and can control Samsara power, the Emperor's power will be fully within your grasp. At that time, Long Chen will be nothing, but for now you must endure. Long Chen is no longer your target. Your targets are those like Feng Fei. The divine families are using us. But he, why can't we use them as well? You just need to keep sucking up to that mother of yours. Sooner or later, the Yi family will be ours to control. Understood? I married that idiot woman and endured so much over the years just to assist you. Don't disappoint me, said Di Long. Father, don't worry. Your child won't disappoint you. Promised Di Fang. Boom. Just at that moment, an explosion interrupted their silent conversation. A giant pill furnace had appeared to block the phoenix. That was the demon moon furnace. However, it was not its true body. It was something condensed of Long Chen's spiritual strength. Long Chen had been hesitating over what form he should use to block, and so he had randomly decided on the form of the demon moon furnace. Unexpectedly, when he used his spiritual strength to imitate the demon moon furnace, the actual demon moon furnace lit up and assisted. Big Brother Long Chen, I don't really understand this technique. At best, I can give you 20% of my power, said Linger apologetically. The demon moon furnace had gone through countless masters, and she remembered a bit about every master. She had encountered someone who had used this kind of technique. After flipping through countless memories, she had only found this one way to assist Long Chen. But that master's soul arts were not that powerful. Ling Er, well done. That's amazing, praised Long Chen. With 20% of the demon moon furnace's power, that could make his spiritual strength many times more solid. Long Chen was not skilled in fighting with spiritual strength. 
Summoning his soul outside his body was different from refining pills. It was a completely different style that he had not practiced before. With Ling'er's assistance keeping the form that he had summoned stable, Long Chen just needed to fully display his spiritual strength. He was confident that his own spiritual strength would not lose to anyone. Your spiritual strength is this loose, and you dare to be so arrogant Feng Fei snorted. Energy suddenly poured out of her and into the phoenix's head. The phoenix's eyes began to glow. Golden light shot out of them. Two cracks appeared within the pill furnace that Long Chen had summoned. Following that, the entire thing crumbled.